Hi, Vaughn's channel. How are you guys doing? Look at this. Look where we are. We're in Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. It is the Halloween update. Can you crouch? You can't crouch. Look at these. Look at these spump kids. They have added quite a bit of stuff. So this is going to be a long stream. We're going to be playing Paranormal PI. Uh, I have actually studied for this stream. I have read the wiki and I have memorized most of the important parts of the lore. I will have to probably look at a cheat sheet during this stream because there's so much information and so many dates. Uh, it felt like I was back in college. Holy shit. <laughs> Learning for a test. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be leaning you around the the church sh talking about all the different places all the different lores and all the different ghosts that are there which it's actually really cool how they've done it in in this game i i'm starting to dig it more and more they have now added a wiki with a ton of information as well as well as two ghosts and some ne halloween decoration as well as some frame or some like foundation for the future of the game with like where you can buy equipment and stuff like that so yeah there's a lot coming bubbles bean thank you for the five gift subs but anyway i'm gonna go say hi youtube and we're gonna get in have a great time it's gonna be a fun fun one also unicorn thank you for the two months and ahi thank you for the gift sub okay here we go i'm so ready hi youtube how are you doing and welcome back to conrad stevenson's paranormal pi as you can see there has been a halloween update that has added a ton of content to this game we actually have early access to it today it comes out later this week and i am very excited to show you around everything there's been so much added i have actually studied for this stream i have read the wiki and all the information that has been added already and i have memorized most of it i will be uh, basically your tour guide today where i'll lead you around the church map talk about all the lore of the different places about the different ghosts that are there it's gonna be a ton of fun i'm really excited to show you all the new stuff i hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go so first of all obvious there has been some uh <laughs> some decoration added uh look at that it's such a good looking pumpkin you can't also candles can you turn those off you can turn those off. Now, what they have added, first of all, so if you have, haven't seen this game in a while, you won't even be familiar with the computer at all. They have added a computer a little while ago where you can uh, go through like archives for the different houses. You can add notes before you go into a mission, which will enhance certain ghosts and you will get more evidence to more information you've collected between games. So it's like an overarching story arc, which is really cool. And also, while I was like reading for this, I really realized how much stuff like is planned in this game there is so many things that the dev has planned beforehand and i can't wait to see the future of this game and what kind of stories they've added or they're gonna add in the future so first of all they've added a wiki now which is a place where you can uh read about the ghosts so these are the ghosts in the game they are four, four different ghosts which if you've seen this game before you know there's the residual there's the intelligent there's the poltergeist and the demons uh here is where you're eventually oh if i can load it up oh yeah i'm scrolled down uh this is where you're eventually going to be able to buy uh new items with your trophies if you get a perfect game you get a trophy and you can then buy items with that right now there's no items you can buy but you can see what the items are uh that you already have then the, you can read all the tutorials if you wanted to and now most importantly there is a wiki on the church map this is a ton of information it takes like 15 minutes to read if i just read it out loud maybe even more so i'm not gonna start off with that i have already read all of this i'm gonna go into the church i'm gonna basically lead you around talk about the history of the place it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> and uh, so first of all what are we gonna do before we head in we're gonna head over here we're gonna go to our archives we're gonna check out what kind of information we have on the church we have uh this like old ticket that was sold uh for a, a tour a history tour that they did in the place uh so we're gonna click on that one we're gonna add it to our notes you can up, up, up to six notes now you can also add this one which is the church had uh, to be renovated but i think i'm actually gonna get rid of that one because i'm much more interested in all the information about the ghost that i'm gonna add so i'm gonna add all of these ghosts i'm gonna add the church ghost the graveyard ghost the groundskeeper ghost the mausoleum ghost and then uh the two new ghosts that have been added one of which being the legends in the wood and another one that you can't even get any notes on it's a secret ghost that you have to find in the game itself so let's head in there and uh check out the the whole church map now what i really like in the stories also here look at these guys look at the tall one he looks so silly <laughs> he looks like such a stupid pumpkin 
Look at that guy. So, uh, what I really like is that the whole layout of this town actually makes sense with the lore of the game. So, you have the historical district over here, which they actually reference in the stories as well, uh, as I will be going over. So, let's head into the church and let's check it out. Oh, baby. So, yeah, this whole update has added so much. Oh, first of all, my whole thing is going to lag. I forgot to mention that. My face is going to lag. What an incredible oh, opportunity baby. to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very uh -oh. grateful Pastor uh -oh. Rogers reached out, although I'm not... Wait, I got one second. I need to... Can I leave real quick? Holy shit, they upgraded the truck. Wait, I need to I need to preface that. Can I Can I get the fuck out of here? I want I want to listen Maybe to I that. Should give it a little Let's see. before wrapping up. No, no, no. You can shut the fuck up. Uh if I if I load back in a second time, will it be laggy again or will it not be? I'm curious. I don't think so. I don't think this game does like any any like caching or whatever. Conrad's judging me because I I just left immediately. One second. Does that work? I don't think that works. I really hope they fix this. I don't know why they haven't like done any optimization in the loading yet. Um but anyway, Let's click again. I have less than... I forget your notes, you piece. You piece of shit. Get me out of here. I want to get out of here, please. Press the interact button to exit the map. Okay, thank you. I already did that 10 times, but I guess I had to wait a little bit. I was spamming it too hard. Uh, let's let's put it in our notes again. Whoopsie daisy. That, that, that ruined... That ruined my notes. All right. Archives. I'm going to go this one. And so that one is for the, the tours and the, the groundskeeper ghost. Spaced Elk, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. And then I'm going to add all the separate ghosts. Okay, boom, 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 and boom. Yes, six notes. Okay, good. Now we head in. Oh, baby. Can I enter? Yes. All right, so as you know... As you know, when I click this button, it'll start lagging like crazy. So don't worry when my face is like one FPS. And also, I think the, the subtitles will also be really delayed. So just listen to the audio. <laughs> I'm creepy. What an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, <laughs> Sorry, although I'm not sure what he'll think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. It's fixed. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. All righty, so welcome. Also, look at the new truck they've got. Ghost problems, we can help. It's the new truck they've added in this update as well. Uh, so later on, they're gonna allow you to, similar to like Phasma and most other ghost hunting games where you have equipment that you can bring in, this will open up where you can collect your equipment when they add new items, which, I mean, knowing the developer of this game, that is gonna be fairly soon. Like, this developer creates so much content so fast, it's crazy. So welcome to the grounds. This place is absolutely huge. It is the largest map for a ghost hunting game I've ever seen. There are so many, there are different buildings, there are, I think, six different ghosts on the map which is just nuts. So we're gonna be able to investigate a lot. We might not find anything right away, but I will just be leading you around. So first of all, welcome to the church on Spruce Street. This was a church built in, I don't know the exact, 1700, 1700 to 1700s, which is also when the town was founded itself. Now, uh, back in the day, they had two main faiths uh, that people followed one of which was this church and the other church was in the historical district where the historical district is now today and obviously these people didn't really get along because back in the day everyone used to be basically in the church everyone was part of a church so if people would go in on sunday and you wouldn't be at the church they would know uh you probably at the other church so we don't like you anymore and there was a lot of fights because of that uh both church did not condone any violence but both uh both of the churches did end up in like physical altercations all the time but then a hero came around the reverend who uh is one of our first ghosts here today uh the reverend came along also look at the lighting they really improved that holy shit look at the way the the lighting <laughs> bounces off the item that is definitely different um so the uh the reverend came along who basically mended all these issues who brought people back together and uh they were happy 
everyone was nice. But then the independence war came for uh, the United States uh, from independence, obviously from the from Great Britain. Uh, and the the supply lines to the town got cut. Uh, by, by the way, during this, I'm just going to hold out my EMF because at any point, a ghost could show up. You never know. Uh, so the supply lines got cut for the town and people had to like leave their houses. They migrated south uh, and they basically the people that were left didn't really like each other anymore. And the divide came back. And that is what the reverend who died as well. And is currently haunting the asylum, or it's, 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 he's believed to be haunting the, uh, not the asylum, but the, the, the church. He's believed to be haunting the church uh, in order to try and uh, mend these issues once again and once and for all. He is, uh, he is back here to try and uh, make everyone happy and, and together again. Now, as far as I know, this ghost can be found mostly passing between uh, this house over here, the, the place where people sleep. Thorndale, thank you for the 11 gift subs. Thank you. And the church over here. I think we actually have a note on this guy as well. We have a note on investigate the church, as it says. Uh, now, there are other ghosts as well in this map. Uh, by the way, if you are completely unfamiliar with Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI, we have several different tools to investigate. Please give me normal temperatures. How do I, how do I get normal temperatures? Uh, how do you? Wait, hello? They changed a button for this? Wait, I can't turn this off anymore. <laughs> I have to deal with F, F units. No. Wait, please. It's C, but C doesn't work. Wait, <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, wait, I hear walking. Oh no. Well, uh, I hope someone understands F units because I don't know anything about these these units. F's in the chat for the F units. Uh, what is freezing in F? I have no idea. Also, what am I doing? 69? Nothing Very paranormal nice. paranormal about these temperatures. Nothing ratings. paranormal about these ratings. So uh, you can F. Below 32 is freezing. Okay. Uh, oh, it's getting colder. I don't know if any. I Now this is going to be confusing for me as well. Uh, so they. Uh, the, the ghost can be found, like, walking between here. But there's also another ghost because uh, the, the cemetery is right out here. So let me lead you now. We didn't really find anything here. Uh, as I was saying, by the way, we got an EMF. We got, a, we got this, which we can actually use to talk to the ghost if it is around and it wants to respond. Uh, which only certain types of ghosts will talk back to you and only very rarely. It's a really slow building game where uh, you, will, you will get very little evidence... Uh, you, you're gonna probably spend, like, when you do your first mission, you might be spending, like, an hour in one location, getting very little at the time, and then all of a sudden there will be a ghost in your face, and it'll just be, like, a very natural jump scare that I just really enjoy about this game. Also, how the hell do you get in here? Hello? What the fuck? I'm blocked off. This is actually the oldest structure in, uh, New Eidolon still standing. It is the graveyard right here as you can see the church looks pretty modern that's because it was completely renovated as you saw in the archive uh and all of the names here are completely withered away because this this uh this graveyard was founded in somewhere like the 17th century where when the native raids attacked the village and killed a ton of people because obviously as you know about american history they didn't, they kind of like took the land and the people that they took the land from weren't really too kind to that so uh, they try to fight back and uh, caused a lot of harm to this town especially. And as the bodies piled up, the cemetery was one of the most important structures to build right away because there were so many dead bodies that they built the graveyard and they, and they, and they just buried all their bodies here. Now, there are so many graveyards as you're about to see later on. There is, there is like a mausoleum over there. There is a, a ton of like huge catacombs, or not catacombs, but like huge tombs over there uh as well there it seems like people dying is a is a big part of this city's identity now let me quickly look if we can see anything around oh my god wait a minute i think something is not working as intended because my controls are not allowing me to turn on night vision either did they change did they change the the controls for this by accident press q uh thank you what do i do with this night vision is e now okay and then what is changing the number? The changing the the thermo numbers. It is gonna be. Does it not say that? It doesn't say that anywhere. Temp reader. Also E. No, not E. 
It's Alt F4. Nice one. T change spacebar. Spacebar. I don't know why they changed the, the controls. That was totally fine. In this new update, they've changed the controls. So anyway, now we got our, our trusty C units. Let's go. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see something right away. So there's a ghost here as well. Obviously, there's a lot of lost souls wandering this place. Uh, and I think this is actually a shadow ghost. So if you grab your photo cam out here and you look around and you stick in this location for a while, you might see someone hanging out and walking around. And uh, because, so there's four different ghosts in this game. Uh, the shadow ghosts are actually sentient, so they know that you're here. And they can actually interact with you and, like, scream in your face when they walk towards you. And they uh, they find you, they, they can scream at you. Now, you can't actually die in this game, so don't worry about that. I highly recommend just, like, if you want to be immersed in a game, like, this is the most immersive ghost hunting game that is out today. Like, you can have so many... Because this is just one map, right? It's one map. Yeah, there's a crouch. If you, you can actually crouch now. This is just one map. Now, obviously, it's the biggest map in the game. With like six different ghosts and many different locations. Uh, however, there's also the, the small uh, houses where there's also a ton of ghosts and a ton of lore to collect. Uh, let me look around. I don't see anything yet. Let me grab my, my EMF. Maybe we'll get some EMF readings around here. Uh, wait a minute. This item is a valuable piece of information that will be added to the archival database on the PC at your office. This item may also automatically unlock additional related archival information. While reviewing this article on your PC at the office, you may be able to take notes on this item, which could facilitate investigations. Jay, I left the next order under the tree marker. Compensation follows. Be careful. The Seegers are inquisitive. Okay. okay, well that leads me very naturally to the next location that we're gonna visit, which is the Siegerstein family home back here. Um, also, I've not been, I hope, I hope everything is fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at the stream because I was talking so much I wasn't looking at chat. Sometimes people are yelling at me like, the, the game is not even on the screen, what are you doing? Because I'm so focused on, on like reciting all the information I kept in my brain. Okay. So welcome to the Siegerstein family. Now, what I really like about the wiki is that there's actually photos on the wiki of how this looks like in the daytime, which we obviously never see because we only investigate at night. But it would be really weird for a wiki to have like horror photos of a location. So instead, they have like very happy daylight photos of these locations, which I really like. So this is the Siegerstein family home and the Siegerstein workshop, which these are the... Gr oh, this is probably a fucking generator i'm telling you right now there's a generator around this corner lights are acting funny oh never mind continue investigating never mind there's a ghost wait i'm finding something oh god let's go let's go wait where you go no it disappeared no we were so close okay well we got one so oh wait, there's more there's more bmf meter should not behave this way this is paranormal let's freaking go so we got Based on how and when I am seeing parameter, or seeing meter spikes, I am convinced there is paranormal activity here. And that's actually uh, makes a lot of sense because we have two notes on the Siegerstein family. We have the Mr. S was the groundskeeper note down there, which is the, uh, the Siegerstein family note. And then we also have the... Uh, what is it? Evicted, then sold tour. So that is about the Siegerstein family, which the Siegerstein family actually took care of all the grounds you are seeing right here. They took care of that for 150 years. Since the founding of the church, uh, they have been taking care of all the grounds here, keeping the, the trees in, or like planting planting stuff and keeping the trees in, in, uh, in hand so they don't go crazy. Uh, keeping the graves clean, most mostly, because I don't think they kind of filled with those graves. Those graves got all eroded away. Uh, but then, in the 19... I think 1950, I actually remember the date, uh, the church was like, well, why are we supporting this whole family to stay here? Because they, they had a bunch of children, they had wives, and they <laughs> they 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 had, like, all these people living here, which doesn't really make any sense, uh, like, based on the location, because if you look around, there's really only one bed here, I think. Yeah, there's only one bed here, so they were like, a whole family was living in this one house, which I don't really know how they did that, uh, but that's besides the point. So, uh, the Siegerstein family was living here, and they were being, like, supported the whole year round, but they were only really needed at certain times of the year, so the church decided to basically evict the whole family, bye-bye, bye-bye Siegersteins, 
and uh, instead hire uh, just a, a groundskeeper, like a contractor. Oh, it's freezing. I'm getting distracted by paranormal activity. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where the fuck? Oh, there it is. Hello? There it is. No, 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 no. Don't go away. Please. I'm trying to find it. Someone, Seeger sign is running around. I oh. More. Come on. Here it is. Yes. No. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you at? I love the sprint, by the way. Mm, these temp readings are unusual. And we get another one? Can we get both? So close. There. I don't know where you are. Temp readings are unusual. Please give me another one. I think it disappeared. I think the ghost is gone. But if we can get... Unless... Oh, never mind. Uh, this is probably an... Not the right one. I don't think that's the right one. I think that's for the entrance here. Let me see. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Yeah, I don't know why it's so cold here, but I think it's because of the house. Uh, but as I was saying, the church evicted the Seegers. What the fuck is this? Wait. I was too late? What the hell? There's a fireball. <laughs> Excuse me? Ghost orb? Hello? <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, well, I, I didn't get the photo, sadly. I was a little too slow because I didn't even realize. I thought it was just a lantern on the wall. I was like, wait, there's no light here. Why the fuck is there a light right there? So, yeah, uh, that's a ghost orb right there, which I don't really know what the ghost orb has to do with anything. Um, but, like, Seegerstein, what it has to do with the Seegerstein family. Uh, but, as I was saying, the, the people got evicted and they just hired a contractor instead. And then they started doing guided tours on the property the old historical property which is this house uh this and the the cemetery they started doing guided tours which uh made the church enough money to pay off the contractors and basically be in the green instead of in the red paying the Siegerstein family however as i can this is not in the notes on the wiki but as i can predict the Siegerstein family who were already deceased probably weren't too happy with a bunch of tourists walking around on their grounds all the time uh, so they started haunting the place and since then a lot of unexplained events have happened uh, And people have been like noting paranormal activity all the time. So yeah, that is the uh, one of one of the like The stories that really like explicitly talks about a ghost But my favorite story by far is about the mausoleum which now I know we've seen a lot of uh, Activity here, but I'm really quickly gonna show you the mausoleum because I think the mausoleum story has an absolutely like it's the, it's a really good showcase of how cool a game like this is where the lore is built into the game so welcome to the mausoleum before i do that though uh there's also look at this there's graves over here there is more oh i think this is like a huge grave area but i got what do you call these things you call them tombs i guess these these big these big uh i don't know what you call them tomb tombs uh, someone's gonna say it in chat in the next second, so I'm not saying anymore. Zombear, thank you for the 15 gift subs. Crips! Crips, that's what the word I was looking for. Thank you so much for the 15, uh, for the 15 gift subs. Alright, so here we are in the mausoleum. Now, the mausoleum was built in the 1900, or early, like, 1900, basically, uh, by a person called Libre. Libre? Let me quickly look up the name, because it's, uh, obviously, the, it's the ghost name. Uh, it is, was milled by a person called Pierre... Pierre Lefabre, Pierre Lefabre, who was uh, like just an, an architect who built the who built this mausoleum, and uh, quickly a lot of issues arose because this ended up becoming basically an elite burial ground where only the most like the most important people could be buried. Even if you had enough money to be buried here. If you didn't have any connections with the, the pol politicians in the local area, you would not be able to be buried here. Uh, so this led to a lot of locals and the, especially the poor people being very angry uh, about this place and this place existing. So they would vandalize... What the hell? Is there a light over there? They would vandalize the place. I'm just curious. What the hell is this light coming through? It's coming from the moon? Oh, there's a, there's a glass up there coming from the moon they would vandalize the mausoleum uh but then the church obviously because people vandalizing graves is a little <laughs> was a little extreme uh they they hired uh security to keep the area safe let me let me grab some emf or the thermo 
that's for sure. Uh, they started hiring security, so the people that wanted to vandalize couldn't do that anymore because day night the place would be secured. So then, instead of oh, instead of uh, blatantly vandalizing like the personal properties, Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. Yeah, okay, Conrad, I was talking. Uh, instead of just, like, straight up vandalizing the property, they would do a, uh, another type of uh, vandalism, or at least a, a protest, which is where they would light candles on the graves. Because, obviously, you can't stop people from lighting candles in a grave. Uh, like, it's, it's just a way to show respect, but they would light so many candles that the burnt wax after the candles were, were burnt up would basically cover, like, flow over the, uh, the personal possessions that people left in the, in the mausoleum, and it would be, like, a silent way of protecting, uh, or of pr protesting against the elite only being able to be buried here. Um, so then, uh, ironically enough... Uh, or not ironically, but the, the, the person who built this grave actually really hated that this uh, ended up being this way. This was not meant to be an elite-only burial ground. It was meant to be for everyone who had the means to be buried here with the money. Uh, anyone should be able to be buried here. Uh, so he tried to distance himself from this uh, from this like uh, this divide and he tried to lobby for people being allowed to be buried here However, that never came to pass because suddenly with his wife they died in a carriage accident uh, and then Ironically enough, they actually ended up being buried here. These tombs right here is mr. And mrs. Lafabre they were buried in the tomb themselves and now it is believed that uh, after, <laughs> that even now, Mr. Lafabre is continuing his pro protest in the afterlife by lighting candles, just as the locals used to do. So if you, if you ever come here and you see candles, you might just be seeing Mr. Lafabre silently protesting the, the elites being buried here. So that is like my favorite part. Like that is such a cool explanation of why this place is haunted. It is so cool. So th that's a great showcase of how awesome it is to actually. Oh, wait, it's freezing. To actually like build lore Something's properly. Going. There we go. Oh no, I think this actually might reset yeah. my. No, it doesn't reset my nose. Let's go. I have no explanations for these temperature readings. This must be paranormal. So I'm getting kind of evidence all over the place. Obviously, this is evidence. Wait, you can actually turn on the lights here. Oh look at that! I didn't even know there was a light switch here. Wait, have I ever turned these on? I don't know if I have. I should have done that earlier. Look at that. What a beautiful place. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see Mr. Lafabre right now, because he might not... I mean... Uh, he might be... He might be passive. He might not be active right now. But if you ever see a candle here, just know. You might be... You might be seeing some ghost activity. Uh, now... There are even more stories. So this is the mausoleum story, my personal favorite. Uh, there is also... The woods over here. Now, in the woods... There have actually recently been a lot more reports of paranormal activity uh, than, uh, uh, oh, I hear, I hear sounds. I hear dingity dingus, dingies. Uh, there have been a lot, a lot of paranormal activity reports because there are actually two new ghosts in the map. One of which you can see right over here where I am standing between the mausoleum and the forest. There have been reports of some red-eyed creature, uh, or red-eyed ghost, the the red eyes in the in the darkness, who has been uh, been pathing back and forth between this location. Now, this ghost I only know about because I talked with the developer. This is not actually in the notes at all that you get off the start because you have to collect these notes later on you have to go around as you saw we found a note in the cemetery stuff like that if you look around you can find notes that you can pick up which will then give you like a little bit of uh, information about something that happened and then you can go back to the to the office and you can oh i was just checking if there was any notes there uh and you can go back to the office to add that to your six notes like write the notes at the bottom you can take that as your note and then get more paranormal activity the next time you investigate uh, Mr. Teacher, when is the test? Yeah, this will all be on the test. You better be taking notes. Um, just looking around here if there's any notes. I don't know if there are ghosts here yet. I don't know this. So, wait, by the way, also for the mausoleum, uh, the this is, a, this is a place that was constructed later uh, as a way to, like, uh, 
help with these societal issues of only the elite being able to be buried in a proper bar proper crit or a proper mausoleum they added this whole graveyard uh to to give people that had the means to actually like purchase something like this to be buried here that they also had an uh, the opportunity to be buried so that is why this place was built which is just awesome that they actually have i mean there's so much it's really cool that this town that is so haunted has death being such a like uh like omnipresent thing in the in the whole uh the whole city because there are so many graveyards everywhere like because it's just so old right from the 17th century onwards people have been dying here and being buried um now let me go into the forest because here we oh wait there's even more graves here there is a uh, much more evil story going on. Nothing to do with uh, societal issues and people, like the history of the place. This is all about long, long, long times ago when uh, even the natives had... Uh, so the native people that lived here back before the United... Or the Americans arrived, uh, they had reports of uh, people getting lost in the woods together... And then, uh, you've probably heard this before, when you have nothing to eat and you're in the... You're all alone. Wait, where the fuck is it? I'm just trying to find the way into the trees. I'm not seeing... Oh, wait. Wait, no, I'm too far. Over here, I think. Uh, when you're all alone and you have nothing to eat and you're desperate for survival, one might consider to eat their brothers. And as you know, I see it in chat already... When people resort to cannibalism, there are many stories of people then turning into creatures such as a Wendigo. And that is uh, what what is believed to have happened here. Deep in the forest where I am now. I, th I don't even know where the fuck I am right now. Uh, there are natives who had stories of people resorting to cannibalism and turning into heartless creatures... Uh, and there's also more recent stories of the the Americans having similar stories of people being lured into the woods by screams and people in distress only when they went to investigate they were never seen again so uh, and it is it is believed that to this day if you're deep inside the forest you might you might see some uh, some evil creatures lurking in the darkness i don't know are you here <laughs> i'm a little i'm a little scared i think i am here what the fuck excuse me what the hell was that was that a scream oh no was that was that one of the screams that i just talked about <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> was that a deer or was that a person in distress? Uh-oh. Am I never going to be seen again? I mean, luckily I'm here with a large tour group. Uh, only me and like a bunch of people watching. <laughs> oh boy. I, it's really dark here. I can't see like if I can go deeper into the trees. I'm going to have a chat. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> the tour group. Okay, I'm gonna go a little deeper and ask another question. Is this even... This continues over here? Or is this the way back? Where the hell am I going? I think this might be the way back. Or is this a, this a dead end here? Um, yeah, I think I'm fucked. Wait, no, this goes even deeper. What the hell? That's a huge tree. Um, I, I might be leaving? I'm not sure. Oh, yes. I see lights. Wait, I got turned around? Oh, I'm right here. That's the Siegerstein family home right there. So, yeah, we're, we're going back. Tour already lost in the woods. I mean, are you seeing this? It's so dark. I can barely see anything. I think this might actually be a ghost uh, that I have been looking forward to for a very long time. Uh, because as of before this update... There was only one of these types of ghosts in the game, and it is my favorite ghost by far. But now, they have added another. Let me actually use night vision, you're right. They've added another demon. 
to the game. <laughs> Which, uh, is this time gonna manifest itself as a Wendigo, or I think it's not called Wendigo, let me see. It is called a Wintikoa? Is that a, is that like a native word for Wendigo? I don't know exactly what that means. Um, but let me, let me use some, uh, some EVP right here. A Wintikoa. That's the name of these. Winter Cola. Uh, can, no, no, no. Is this why? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know here? why I'm here? No, you, you can't die I'm in this here? game, but you can definitely lose your bowels or the, co the contents of your bowels. Um, is this your home? Is this your home? Wintakoa. No, it's W I N T E. Is this your home? K O W A. Wintakoa. You're not talking to me. Is, is there anyone, anyone here, here who would like to speak with me? Reminds me of the Wendigo. Yes, it is a Wendigo, or at least like a. It's it's based on Wendigo lore. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Um. Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. That was so quiet. What the hell? Wait. We so okay. Um, I did not really hear anything. It was indecipherable according to the game. What you can actually do when you collect audio like that, you can then go back into the office, and there's now an audio playback feature where you can every audio that you've recorded in any mission, you can then go into the into the audio player and you can play it back. You can speed it up. You can slow it down. I don't think you can reverse the audio yet, so you can't do like reverse audio things. But I think they're adding that in the near future. So there's a lot of there's like a little audio editing you can do, which is super cool. You can figure out what it actually says, which I love that detail. I've been wanting that for a while, and then the dev edited it. Uh, let me see. Can you talk more? Because you're obviously, obviously just someone here. Why are you here? Name? I'm turning up the audio, by the way. Why are you here? No one. No one. Is there... Oh, can you can tell you me tell your me name? your name? Yeah, this, this game is going places, man. It is so cool. Like, all the lore I've... Can you tell me your name? Come on. I really want to see Mr. Siegerstein because I remember, like, obviously the Siegerstein family is pretty upset with them being evicted and just, like, being, like, living, being homeless all of a sudden uh, while they took care of the, the, the church grounds for literally 150 years and just be this set, set aside like that. Um, so, obviously, the family is really upset. So, I wonder, with that context, what we can make up off the Siegerstein ghost because the Siegerstein ghost used to say something like I forgot what it said like I forgot what the ghost said but there were quite a few lines that it said that I was like how what does that mean what 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 is the meaning there so then with the added context of them being evicted there might be that we might be able to give some this is mine not yours oh that's an yeah I think that is a line that they said that makes so much more sense it's mine not yours <laughs> because you're not supposed to be here as a tourist just looking around uh the grounds also i'm i'm glad i'm not dead yet by the way deep in the tr deep in the forest i want to spot a demon i don't know so i have all i have a lot of stuff i have audio data i have emf data i have temperature data and i don't know how exactly the ghost activity works like, I don't know if this ghost will get more active even off the evidence that I collected for the other ghosts. Or if... Because I know that the more evidence you collect, the more active the ghosts become. Uh, but I don't know if you can, like, kind of combine all the evidence between the different ghosts. I have no idea if that's the case. Okay, but I don't see you right here. I'm gonna get out of here because I'm a little scared. That scream, that was so good. I didn't catch the audio, though. That sucks. We can die in this game? Like, I mean, like, die as in a heart attack, like in real life. I mean, you can't die in this game yet, which I do hope that they will add something. Because the story that you can read about... Let me, let me quickly, let me go over here. So, legends in the wood. The natives, or let me, let me see. These creatures 
of legends supposedly roam the woods and nearby caves, luring hunting parties and the gatherers into their territory. These unsuspect unsuspecting parties would follow the sounds of screaming and pleas for help and confront the stranded. The young men and women would never be seen again. Cultures and stories have mixed over time, with many immigrants seeing similarities between their own stories of werewolves and the native stories of the cannibal monsters. Many retellings would include the man taking on the skull and antlers of a dare, although these were absent during the original tales. Many colonists who heard tales of the Wintakoa chalked up these occurrences to bear attacks. However, the settlers would end up reporting their own encounters of some of some being with striking resemblance to the Wintakoa. After the establishment of the church, loggers in the area reported a demon in the woods. They often re reported hearing a strange bleeding noise ringing out from the woods at night. One man, Joseph Edwards, would investigate these noises report and reported a hideous buck stalking men in the woods. He was widely disregarded by any sort of authority, but the church warned it was an omen of sin and advise those who heard the noises to pray to the Lord until all thoughts of the beasts in the woods fade away. That's the story. Oh, baby. <laughs> History lessons. The deer? Wait, was that the deer? Wait, because we saw a deer that like showed up in the, in the, in the forest that one time. I haven't seen it yet, though. Wait. Is that an apparition over there? So the way this game works, by the way... Oh, no, it's not. The way this game works is that all ghosts are active all the time. So even if you're not around, there could be a ghost event happening on the other side of the map. And then the ghost could just, like, walk across a window. Wait. Oh, fuck. I thought I saw it, but it's just moving trees. It, that, it fucks with you so hard. Like, the fact that that's a thing fucks with you so hard. It makes you see so many things that aren't actually there. We did see a deer that one time when we played previously. Uh, let me let me focus a little bit on the Siegerstein family home because uh, we actually have two notes for this location and we also collected a ton of evidence here and we saw uh, an apparition or at least some kind of ghost orb looking thing. So let's see if you want to talk to me. It seems like it's a residual though, I think. So I don't think this ghost is going to chat now that I think about it. Because residuals, if you go into your... Wait, how do I, how do I look? Okay. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Wait, what did you write down? Photographs? The photographs taken during this in investigation display profound evidence of paranormal activity at this location. It's a ghost ball. Why didn't you say anything, Conrad? What the hell? Oh. Wow. I, I took a photo of a ghost. There you go. Now he's impressed. What is this ghost ball? What does that have to do? Is this just like, I guess it's just a spirit? It's not strong to manifest, strong enough to manifest itself into like, it's it's not aware of me, I think. Oh. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Wait, you heard the footsteps? Follow it. I was, I was trying to be a little distant so I wouldn't despawn it by being on top of it. It went over here. Ah, so it is leaving EMF, which makes a lot of sense. Because it was a freaking ghost orb. Uh, and it might be cold here too, let's see. I don't think so, actually. I think it's already gone. I think it already disappeared. Let's keep out the camera, because that's the last... I mean, camera and audio would be the last two things we want to we wanna figure out. But the camera also gives us a lot of extra vision. I love how big they made this thing in this game. I want to see Mr. Siegerstein, because I know this is the ghost shore, but I know you can also see the groundskeeper them like the groundskeeper himself. He can he can show up and start walking around, and I really want to know what he says. Did we see the demon yet? We did not see the demon yet. No, I'm I was a little too after the ghost started screaming at me. I, I left the tr the left the forest. I was like I don't want to be here anymore. I also want to listen more to now with the added context, right? Of the reverend being like someone who actually helped people get together and like love each other again. I really want to know what the, the the like lines are that the ghost says because it might, I don't know. Because previously I assumed all ghosts were like kind of evil and like we're trying to like, uh, 
I don't know, were like killed or something, but that's not the case at all, it seems. Like a lot of these ghosts are actually just people who died, but had some kind of connection to the place and just stuck around in the afterlife to, to, com to finish some kind of task, such as Pierre Lefebvre, or who uh, continued, wait, are there candles there now? Who continued pro protesting against the elite, uh, as well as the groundskeeper who uh, were peaceful in this place until the family got evicted and then tourists started uh, coming in and taking over the place and then they were like, what the hell? I, this is our building. You don't have, you don't, you shouldn't be here. Um, and then obviously in the, in the graveyard, so there are no candles. That is, that is interesting. Oh my God. It's so cool. It's so quiet here. There are no candles yet. I don't know if, so the ghosts seem to be a lot more active when you're nearby. I don't know if we have to stick around here quite a bit to get, uh, miss. Oh, I think that is just, uh, <laughs> I think that's a generator on the other side right here. While this is a high EMF level, it seems to be normal, although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything is wired correctly. Okay, th thank you for your backseat electrician, my friend. You got anything, Pierre? I want this game to add, like, oh, to add voice recognition as well. Wait. That is, uh, something? I think so, but I can't collect this anymore because I already got... Once you have two pieces of EMF evidence, you already have everything. You can't collect, so you can't get anything else. But yeah, Miss Pierre is at least doing something here. As we can see by the EMF... Oh! Holy shit. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that! And that... It <laughs> That's so cool! Can I take a photo of that? Don't know. I don't think that works. But yeah, there you go. The 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 silent protest of Pierre in the afterlife. It's not an unreal. Wait, what? I heard a footstep. That is. I'm so glad we saw that. It's really cool with the added lore. Like this game creates such a different experience. Like I don't even really care for getting like the perfect game now. I just want to see the stuff and like learn about the 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 place and like learn about the different ghosts that are here because it is just it creates so much depth that i've never seen in a ghost hunting game at all which is just super cool so yeah there you go uh the candles from pierre we've seen them i'm happy we saw them i don't know if we're gonna see pierre himself because there have been report of a rather fine looking gentleman who seems to disappear when you don't look at him I don't know if we can find him. Pierre, do you want... Uh, let me let me have a little chat. I don't know. Pierre might be a, a residual ghost. I don't know. Is there anyone here? people are here? And residual ghosts don't talk to you? Because they aren't aware of... The, residual ghosts have like... How many people Actually, are here? Actually, would it make sense that it me? is a residual? I don't know if it is a residual. Because... If it is intelligent enough to, like, light candles like this, wouldn't you expect that ghost to be, like, an intelligent ghost? Like, why would a residual affect the environment? I don't think they, they can. It has to be uh, an intelligent ghost. So, yeah, let's actually have a little chat. Because the residual ghost, the description... I don't know if I can see that anymore. I don't think I can. Uh, you used to be able to open the the ghost menu. I don't know why they took that away. Because you used to be able to open the ghost menu in the game and then read about the ghosts. Um, uh, hey, Auntie, by the way. Uh, you used to be able to read about the ghosts during the game itself. And, uh, and the residual ghosts are ghosts that just act out things that happened in their past. And they aren't aware that they are ghosts that they are dead, that there are any other people around them, like, they, they just act out previous memories, uh, and, like, that's all that's all they do. So they don't won't respond to you when you try to talk to them on the on the EVP or something like that. But I feel like Pierre might actually. So let's walk over to the candles right over here, and let's see if we can ask, why are you why here? Because I think he might have a reason for that. Satan's Noodle, thank you for the 13 months. There's, there's lore in the why wikis now. They have added a wiki to the game where you can read about all the ghosts. Uh, can you tell me your name, can Pierre? You me your name? 
Frog, thank you for the 14 months. Can you tell me your name? Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. What? Listen? What did it say? That was so short. We got something. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Is uh, how many people are here other than how me? Many are here is it gonna say two? Other than me. And you. I'm. We have to go back to the office to listen to these audio snippets. Other than me. Because obviously we can't really make anything out of that. Like this, this is not really telling us much because we only heard it once and very, it was very quiet. You can turn up the audio when you're do going back in the audio recordings, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, you have to. Go th there's a few things that they still have to like work out, but it doesn't really matter all that much because like the game is designed for you to go back to locations many times over like it's that's the way the game is intended like as i just got a note right i got a note like a while ago already but we collected a note you can then go back and uh wait i can blow this out as well will pierre be angry if i do this <sighs> pierre i'm sorry um the you can then go back to the computer and then fill in different notes to get more paranormal activity uh, which I I wanna I wanna do that for the Siegerstein family. Are you lighting candles over here? I'm just walking around, seeing if it's doing anything more. Uh, let's talk a little bit. What do you? I want to know your name. Do you? Is there anything you would like is to there tell anything me? Anything you'd like to tell me? So cool. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to tell me? Wow, that sounded like a response. What? Very interesting. Is it a? It's a. It's a Frenchman. Is he saying something in French? Any French people in? Is that schwa? <laughs> schwa? <laughs> what the fuck? Schlong? I don't think he said schlong. But we got two EVPs. Hello. Uh, do you like to? This is not a family. Is this your home? Schlong. Is this your home? Come on. Oh. Why are you here? Why are you here? Pierre's French. I mean, it sounds like a French name. And Lefabre, Lefabre or whatever, I probably pronounced it wrong. Here? Chuba, thank you for the 10 months. So I like that the, a lot of the ghosts on this map are actually intelligent and will give you e EVPs. Because there are many residuals on the pre on the other maps, uh, which don't really interact with you too much. Which I really like the ones that do interact with you. Also, we got wine up there. I want to find another note. I think up to I think between two and three notes spawn every time you go to a map and you collect evidence. So we could collect another note because as you saw in the archive, there were so many grayed out things that you could collect. There's just so much lore here. Uh, anything out here? Because I know the ghost can also be out in the garden. Because this is the area- Oh no! I got it wrong! Sorry, my tour, tour guide revision. This is the area that they added. This is the area that they added to give other people a place to be buried as well. Instead of that. I didn't realize that this was also- this also existed. I thought it was that, but it's actually this. This map is freaking massive. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, is this a- a crematorium? What is this? Wait, excuse me? Why are there like little little trapdoors on the side of the building? There's another door? Wait, there's a side door. I didn't even know there was. Uh hello, Mr. Pierre. Can you chat with me one more time? Do you can you tell can me you your tell name? Me your Please name? just say Pierre. I wanna know. Still ten out of ten tour guide. Can you tell me your name? Say it. Say it! I love that they... Because they died so suddenly, they didn't leave their, like, will, like, properly. Because they, they died without being able to, like, uh, anticipate it. So the people buried them here in order to, like, <laughs> honor the... Honor that they built this place, but yeah, that is just such a such a lovely story, and that he then continues the pro protest 
against the place itself. He was buried in the place that gave him so much trouble during his lifetime. All right, let's go back to the, the Siegerstein family. Or you know what we can do? I think we could actually head out and look at the note that we've collected. And then also potentially spawn more notes as we go back. Unless. Wait a minute. Oh, that's me. I was like, what the hell are these? Find the demon. I don't want to fucking die, man. I know you can't die, but still. All right, I'm going. I'm going back into the trees. I really like that they added the sprint. Without the sprint, this map was so huge. Excuse me. Are we going to see the deer again? Isn't the deer over here? Oh, what the fuck? I thought it was a person, but it's just too... <laughs> I thought there was someone laying on the ground there. But it's just two little bits of wood. And this place is confusing. I think I'm going back to the... Yeah, this is the road again. Why are there... What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Holy shit. What the hell was that? I should... I should have my recorder out, but I'm... Then I can't see, man. Alright, I'm gonna have the recorder out. Let's t s get back over here and then ask a little question. Why are you here? <laughs> this is so good. Why are you here? Nothing. Nothing, huh? And then it's going to be in my face all of a sudden. But we won't see it because I don't have the cam out. Let's go the other path. Let's go deeper into the forest. Which I think is over here to the right. Yes. Blair Witch. Yeah, I need to record for my found footage film. Wait a minute. Alright, this is the farthest it goes. Like, this is the back of... <gasps> That's extraordinary audio evidence. Wait, it was still recording. Holy shit. Let's go. <laughs> I recorded the deer and then the... <laughs> I recorded the... Vo That's not an audio sound? You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm being fucking... I'm being lured. What is over there? Looks like there's something green in their trees. I'm gonna hold out my audio recorder. Hello? This place is way too creepy, man. <laughs> it's so dark. Okay. Let's have a little chat. Why are you here? I think that there was just wildlife. Why are you Copium. Here? Nothing. Ask him about family. Do you like the current family living here? <laughs> In the forest? <laughs> Do you like the family who just lives on the ground? Do you like the current family living here? And before he gives an answer. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? I don't know if I'm... Oh! Do you know why I'm here? What the fuck? What the hell was that? I hate it here! This place is fucking terrifying! <laughs> Excuse me? What the fuck was that? Someone was in the... In the bushes here. Did I get it? 
I didn't get it? What do you mean I didn't? What the hell? How did I not get that? <gasps> there it is. What do you mean? What the fuck? It's air. It's. It looks like it's walking. Balls. Oh. Hi. And it's gone. What the? Is this the? Wow, that's great audio. Oh, we got it. We actually got it. Oh, look at the moon, by the way. I don't... I'm gonna be back here. This thing does not seem to be too evil. Is this a demon? This seems to be kind of nice. Maybe this is... It. Maybe this is the passive form. Because didn't... Wait, did the story say something about... Uh... The natives... The native people of the surrounding area have long told stories of a malevolent spirit capable of possessing those... That find themselves in peril. When men find themselves desperate for survival, where they must turn to a more bestial nature, the spirit of the Wintakoa may seek them out to take advantage of their misfortune. These men will be plagued with desires of endless greed and hunger, and would often end with the affected person lashing out, killing, and even eating his once friends and neighbors. The possession, the possessed, would then flee into the woods and be transformed into a monster. Growing in size, his heart turns to ice, and a foul stench follows him wherever he goes. That does not sound like a description of this. This seems kind of peaceful, in a weird way. Casper the Friendly Demon? <laughs> I should do audiobook reading. The amount of mistakes I make when reading, I'd have to do so many retakes. Talk to me. I really want to... I'm just going to spam recordings. Talk to it? It seems like a residual, right? That's the weird part. Why are you here? I think I already got all the photos. That's why Conrad is not like, Oh my god, it's a ghost. Why are you here? This might be... Like, this is not a ghost I even... Knew existed. I don't know if this is a... Like a secret ghost, because I know what they want to do is besides adding like the story ghosts, they also want to add a bunch of secret ghosts that you can only find if you're like being very thorough. There's just going to be a ghost somewhere in the corner that you like have to <laughs> have to find by just exploring. And this might be one of those. I don't know. I was talking to the dev. He didn't he didn't talk about this ghost at all. Hi there. I think this might be the no, but it was a red eyes in the forest. This is blue eyes in the forest. Let's go to you and then talk. Uh, why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> He's just waddling around, dude. Why are you here? It's green. I like him. Oh, why these constant? He's just permanent. What the fuck? This is a residual ghost. This is not a demon. Can you tell me your name? Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can you tell me your name? That would be weird though. Oblivion, thank you for the 12 months. Okay. Let's go let's go a little bit further back, because I mean we did get screams over here, right? It seems like anywhere in the forest you can get haunted things to happen. I really want to get more audio. Want to talk to me? Let's stay close to the orbs, because that's obviously where something is going on. With the eyes, I guess. Where did they go? There they are. Why are you not saying anything anymore? I'm guessing it's still recording it, but like, what the hell? Why are you not saying anything? 
I've obtained an outstanding amount of audio evidence on this investigation. Three EVPs in one investigation is incredible. The photos taken during this investigation display profound evidence of paranormal... That a fucking... That must also... Be... I think it is recording this. He's just not talking about it anymore because he already used all the audio lines. You're going into... The... Can I go here too? I can be... I can join you in the trees. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Wait, you know what? Let's actually go back to the church because I want to check for more notes, right? Because I, I'm pretty sure up to like two to three notes spawn as you're collecting evidence, which means that right now we've basically done a perfect investigation, even though we've done a bunch of different investigations of like all... We have basically collected a little bit of evidence from all the different ghosts. I want to go to the church and see if we can find a note there. Also, we should check out Mr. Siegerstein's property. Again, because I don't know if we actually check for notes here. Maybe one in the toilet. Can I open? I cannot open the toilet. Maybe back here. They can definitely be very sneaky. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Never mind. This light. <laughs> I was like, what's this? Look at all the stuff they used to use to... To maintain this place. And now they're just paying some random schmo. Anything in here? Any notes for me? Oh, light switch. There's no breaker in this game, so just feel free to turn on any light you want. I'm just gonna leave the lights on here to spook the- Oh, there's a- The mattress on the floor. Pumpkin? They were- they were setting up for Halloween. Okay, let's uh, get the hell out of here. This, this place is creepy. I want to hear this is mine, not yours. I, I swear the Siegerstein family was a residual, though. Let me let me talk. Is this is your this home? Is this your home? Mr. Note? Where? Is this your home? Well, at least you're not telling me. I want to see the shadow person as well. And we could look at the reverend. Let's go back to the church. Let's go to the church. We already found a note in the graveyard, so I doubt we're going to find another note here. Which, that was actually such a sneaky note. I'm so happy we just found that randomly. It was just like, at a grave somewhere. Oh, well, it's a car driving past. I was like, what is this noise? <laughs> the immersion is too real, man. It's too immersive. You missed a note in the shed. Really? All right, I'm, I'm willing to go back just to see. I don't think I did, but let's see. And then we're going to the church. And maybe we can get a photo of Mr. Siegerstein. I missed a note in the shed, you said? That's not a note, that's a light switch. At the left. That's that's just the uh, the light switch. I don't see anything. Take me to church, that's what I'm doing. This this uh yeah, I don't think there's anything here. This uh tour is now going to go back to the church where the tour started. We're leaving on all the lights just to make it a little creepier for the next people to to come by. And yeah, no worries. I mean, we need we need to find some of these notes because when we go back, you're gonna see. Holy shit! That actually scared the shit out of me. I thought this thing on top of the grave was a like a ghost walking past. This game messes you up, man. Hey guys, thank you for the 15 months. This game starts messing with your brain. Well, the church is still very, very well lit. Check upstairs.
Uh, is there a life switch here? There is. Any notes? Anyone being sneaky in the back of the church? No? Making, just making sure everything is okay. It would be so much less immersive if you would just, like, fucking die randomly. I, I, I like the, the brave choice of the game to, like, focus way more on, like, storytelling and immersion than being, like, this is how you have to play optimally, and if you don't do it, then you get fucking killed. Get to the hiding spot quickly. Like, it's... It allows you to... to to actually get engrossed with the story without, like, being like, Oh, but if I do that, I just get killed. Where is mi where is the reverend? reverend? Also, I want to know what's underneath. Because this is locked. I want to know what's in here. I want to unlock that. That's gotta be a ghost later on, they add, right? The basement. I don't think there's notes. So let's, so we, we got one note already this mission, so let's head out now. Let's replay some of the, because I think we collected a whole lot more audio than Conrad talked about. Because I, I'm pretty sure that every one of those deer noises we captured as well. And then we can, because the game will categorize them based on the ghost you collected them from. So then we can actually properly see which ghost had what response. And we should have a golden trophy. Which, collecting golden trophies now is good, because later on you'll be able to buy equipment with that, remember? So if you can play now, anything you do is gonna be valuable later. It's not gonna be reset or something. Um... Thought that, thought that was the mail truck. CSPBI uh, obtained con conclusive evidence on the above-mentioned devices, supporting the fact that this location is haunted. More investigations are required to determine the nature of the haunting and bring closure to the entity. Okay. Here we are back in the... Oh, it's raining outside now. The weather is also randomly changing. So let's see. What was the note we got? Because uh, I know we got an archive. Look at the amount of stuff you can collect. Wait, we got some, We got two notes. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more random notes that I didn't see. Oh, I missed 3,000 bitties. Space Delk, thank you for the 3,000 bitties. Thank you so much. Wait, what is this? Can I inspect it? Paid for what service? Service. Wait, what? The president of the historic district bank of New Eidolon promises to pay some amount or greater. What? It's a check. Five dollars. Five dollars new eidolon and then a date 1839 it's a five dollar bill <laughs> what the hell oh this is on the day no to pay right it says to pay oh to pay person aha uh -huh. the bearer of this notes yeah yeah okay so it's five it's a five dollar basically like a check a five dollar check Interesting. I don't remember getting that. Where did we get that from? And then we have this one, remember? Who is J and who is K? <laughs> Wait a minute. I left. That's so cool. I want to investigate that. And then we have, obviously, the Siegerstein family still. So let's click on Siegerstein again. And then... Uh, I'm going to close the folder. And we're going to go into the wiki real quick. Uh, where's- this is where the spirit guide is, by the way, so let me quickly go over this. The resid- because you can't find this in the game anymore. Residual ghosts are ghosts that act out of event over and over, unaware of their surroundings. Paranormal investigators are under the impression that these memories are tied to specific events of the spirit's previous life. For unknown reason, these memories have been imprinted on the world and replay at unpredictable moments. But they don't interact with the world, so they don't do EVPs. Uh, most haunted locations seems to be inhabited by in residual ghosts. So residual ghosts are the most common ghosts. Then you have intelligent ghosts, which there's two types of intelligent ghosts. You have the uh, regular and the shadow version. The shadow version doesn't do EVPs, uh, but the and the normal version does do EVP. The like not dark shadowy ghost version, but they all give EMF and temperature readings. And these are ghosts that can communicate and interact with the living, right? They usually fall into two categories, the shadow and the other one. And then Poltergeist is a ghost that 
uh, noisy spirit from the German language. They throw objects around, which there's... I don't think there's a polter... There is no poltergeist on the church map, but there are poltergeists on the, on the small maps. And then demons are the evil ghosts. They are vicious spirits who are capable of great cruelty and violence. These ghosts are believed to have never been human and have existed for eons. They roam from location to location, preying on those who they consider most vulnerable. Research indicates that demons feed on the fear and the pain of others, causing victims intense psychological distress. Usually the troubled homeowner observes negative changes from a member of their household, as if the demon has inhabited both the house and the individual. After an investigation is complete, it is often concluded that this individual has been possessed. So yeah, they do, uh, they do give EVPs, which is very uh, nice. Uh, and they also give EMF and cold spikes, right? Do they? The demons have been difficult to see. Wait. Demons have been difficult to see and photograph in their natural form. When manifesting, they often take the form of something more innocent and less terrifying, such as a child. When a demonic entity has been determined to haunt a location, spiritual leaders of the homeowner's choice may get involved in an effort to cleanse the home and expunge the demon. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. A quick, quick refresher course right there. Um, now, let's fill in. Let's go to the location, the church. Uh, I, by the way, they don't have the the lore for the houses here because so this is the lore for the houses. There's still notes I don't have, by the way. We're definitely gonna do a round where we go back to the houses to collect more lore. I like now that it shows you what you're missing, so you know what you're looking for. So this is Evergreen Lane. This is Polk Street, which we're still missing two notes for that one as well, uh, and all this stuff. Like I love how much. <laughs> Look at this. this is so freaking cool. Uh, okay, so Spruce. Oh no, we already looked here. Uh, is this a knife, by the way? <laughs> Or is it, it's probably a note, a snippet. Uh, let's go to the wiki and get the the groundskeeper. I would like the groundskeeper lore. And then we could do... So how many notes do we have left? We have two more. I want to do the, the deep one. The one in the woods. The legends of an entity in the woods. And then we can choose one more note. Mausoleum we did basically. I think basically we investigated the mausoleum. We could do the north, north cemetery... Uh, we could do the North Cemetery or the church. Maybe we should do the, the North Cemetery, because we're going to be close to that, right? Yeah, let's do the North Cemetery, because we're going to be close around that area. Although we already found a note in there, right? We already found a note in the cemetery. So let's actually do the Fellowship of the Congregational Church. And we also need to check out the audio. You're totally right. Almost gonna just going to forget the audio. So let's see. The church, we have the Angel of the Mausoleum has left us one. No. EVP question. Is there anything you would like to tell me? Turn up that audio. Schwa. Schwa. Schwa? Schwa. <laughs> what does that say? Schwa? Schwa. That doesn't do anything. We can, t we can, uh, like... Uh, make it go slower. That does not help. That does not help. It sounds like schwa. It sounds like it's a French accent, though. <laughs> I don't know what it says. What's the other one? No, this is Mr. Siegerstein. What the hell? It doesn't sound like like a word. I think this is just a sound. Can you tell me your name? It doesn't say Pierre at all. Yeah, I don't. It's like a sneeze. <laughs> What the hell? Do we have any other text? We don't have another text, but we have one of Mr. Siegerstein. Keep them safe. What the fuck? Excuse me? Keep them safe. That says something. Keep them safe. Keep it safe. Keep them safe. Keep them safe. Keep him safe? Keep them safe. Keep them safe. Keep them safe. Keep them safe. The 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 ground. Keep the ground. The because this is the groundskeeper, right? Keep them safe. Keep them safe. 
Yeah, I think that's what it is. No, no, no. Don't quit. Wait, we only have one track from him? Okay, so keep them safe. That, 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 I want to get more from you. That applies to the, to the Mr. Siegerstein, which is the groundskeeper. Uh, next one is the Wintakoa track one. We got a lot of tracks from this one, right? Only two? What the hell? Skadoosh? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell are you saying, dude? Do I need to slow it down? I don't think that's gonna help. Dudush, why are you like this? I don't know if this is anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Next one. Is there anything you would like to tell me? Are you afraid? I do well. I love men. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait, it actually sounds so much like I love men. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Have that in your brain and then listen. <laughs> it sounds so like that. <laughs> Cap a pride ghost. Now I can't hear anything else. Are you friend? I don't think slowing it down more helps. Because, like, listen. It just sounds like freaking... It might be- it actually kind of sounds like some, like, other language. Maybe it's like a native language. Maybe it's actually not English. <laughs> Did we consider that? Okay, and then we're around. So that's all the- that's all the things we collected from that. But by the way, let, what other stuff do we have? When I'm in the dark, I'm afraid. You hear that at the end? Oh, no. Wait. What's this? Oh, that's so sad. Wait. No, I remember. The skipping child. Oh, that sound effect. If you have the context, is so depressing. Because didn't the, didn't the child die from, like, like some kind of lung disease? I don't remember. Where did it say that? Yeah, tuberculosis. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> That's so depressing. Where's my watch? Where's my watch? <laughs> Why I'm Gorio. Imagine. Even the ghosts are sad when they turn into Gorios, dude. The worst ghost in Phasmo. Feels so bad, man. <laughs> it actually No, is it Why I'm going home, I think it says, but... Get out. Leave. Okay, someone doesn't like you to be here. <laughs> this is all only right and left ear. Hello? Okay then. What's that? What's that? Who are you? 
Who are you? A few. A few! How many people are here? A few! It is. <laughs> is this your home? It is! <laughs> Lol. Angel of the Mausoleum. Okay, so now we're back. So we j I just quickly wanted to show you all of that. So, with these new notes, let's head back another time to see if we can find who J and K are, as well as maybe another note. Because this is really freaking cool. Let's see. Can we learn something more about the ghost? Also, we can check over here how much of the ghosts we've collected. So here, we've gotten a photo of the Reverend, which is this weirdo. Uh, we gotten two out of eight audio from the, the Pierre. We got a photo of the groundskeeper, which this is, we don't have all the photos. There's two different photos. Also relic under construction. By the way, we got one out of eight audio we got two out of eight audio for this thing, and we have no photo of that thing yet. So the eyeballs are not, they don't count, apparently. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go back. Yes. Also, my, my face is gonna lag again, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with that. Get ready to be laggy. Yep, there you go. <laughs> there we go. What an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out, although I'm not sure what he'll think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor Rogers was concerned enough about what he and his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Okay. I just wanted to listen if it changed based on evidence we've collected. So the notes we've got are mostly focused on... Mr. Siegerstein, so we could collect more lore about Mr. Siegerstein, because I think the... I mean, we don't know what service they paid for, right? Paid for what service? Like, we don't know what... I mean, maybe that was one of the... No, that seemed too old for it to be, like, something that was written in the 1950s, right? That $5 bill note, would that really been from the 1950s? I don't think so. I think that must be older. Um... I have an NVMe that SSD, yes, but it's still it's still lagging. Uh, can we find the tree, right? Because J and K, J uh, put something underneath, or I think K put something underneath the tree, some tree, for uh, for J. So let's see if we can find a tree with something underneath it. Maybe one, maybe the one, maybe the one deeper in the forest, I'm guessing. Also, let's grab our, let's grab our evidence tools. Can we like dig something up? Imagine. Don't know if, oh, I thought it was something. Thought it was a note. The, the crickets are here in force. Hello, Siegerstein. I know we got a bunch of notes for that's me. That's me walking. We got a bunch of notes for you, so let's actually check around. Maybe we can find something now that wasn't there before. But I don't think the notes nec Oh. That's the clock. That's the, the light. I don't think the notes spawn right away. You have to collect a little... Oh. oh, that's this. You have to collect a little bit of evidence before stuff starts showing up, I think. At least that's what I've been told by the dev. Um... So that's what I'm gonna believe. Hello? Can you give us a sign? <gasps> Wait a minute! There you go! This item is a valuable piece of information that will be added to the archival database. Unsafe area. Visitors assume all risk. Attention! Due to the increased satanic cult activity in the area, entrance is not advised until further notice. A group of individuals have been apprehended, but the sacrifices and vandalism still continues. Several animals have been reportedly sacrificed in satanic rituals. Several missing persons have been filed with local authorities. Areas affected wooded areas near Spruce Street Graveyard. If suspicious activity is observed, leave the area and immediately dial 911. What the hell? That is a very detailed note. Seems a little insane. I kind of want... You know what? Oh. You know what? 
I'm going sicko mode. I want to load out and like put that in. I want to put that note in because it might spawn in satanic like ritual stuff. I need to see it. The cult of Misni is here in force. I need to see that note. I know we haven't done anything and Conrad's going to be upset with me, but I want to see it. I want to see what, what evidence or what, what that does for the investigation. Because if you find it, it doesn't actually add the note to the quest. Like, you have to head out. Which, this is something they need to iron out a little bit. They need to iron out this system. Because it's definitely, like, a little finicky that you have to leave the game. To then come back and get more information instead of immediately, like... Maybe I will... should give it a little effort before wrapping up. <laughs> Fuck you, Conrad. <laughs> Fuck you, Conrad. If you just gave me the ability to investigate that note immediately, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't leave. But I have to leave. So don't be rude. You piece of garbage. <laughs> All right, I got nothing from that. Conrad is not feeling it. It's still rainy outside. Okay. Um, come on. Can I? Thank you. And then we go archive Spruce Street. We got this note. So let's add this, 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 this. We could also add this. The renovations. No, no, no. Because we have to add both the ghosts, right? We have to uh, go to the wiki and add the definitely the legend in the woods and then also the the groundskeeper so this is why this is such a cool system you have to like kind of fit you have to decide which ghost you want to investigate right like right now i'm investigating Siegerstein. i need to read that who is k again what does that say um wait where is it here i left i wish you could zoom in on it I left the next order under the tree marker. Compensation follows. Be careful. The seegers are inquisitive. Okay. So this one is for is from the seer is the Seegerstein family. Okay, so that has to do with that one. Um okay, good. I wanted to just make sure uh about that note. So and, and this one as well. President the president, blah blah blah. This is just a five dollar bill. Like it's a check. It's a check. From someone to pay this person. Yes. Well, and I can't read that. Well, maybe we can read... No, I don't think you can read that. That's the worst... Uh, the worst handwriting of all time. Okay, so let's head back in with this new information. And see if we can find any cultist rituals in the trees or in the forest. Let's go. Five bucks. I'm... Wait, what? What's going on? Uh, go. You didn't get anything from that. It's Emily. Thank you for the twenty dollars donation. Thank you. Hey, hello everyone. I love watching your streams. And Sim, thank you. There's definitely a date on it. What an incredible opportunity to investigate this location at night. There's quite a history here pertaining to the paranormal. I'm very grateful Pastor Rogers reached out. Can you fix my I'm not face, sure please? I think if I find some evidence. Regardless, Pastor <laughs> Rogers was concerned enough about what he What's and it? his parish members have seen to reach out. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. I should have stood up while the slideshow was going on so I would literally just fucking disappear. That would have been funny. <laughs> so my hair, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, so here we are back. Let's see, what does this note do? Because we have, what is the new note? Uh, let, no, no, no. Police have evidence of a cult is the new note. So let's check that out. Are we gonna see new stuff? Like, I don't know if this is the way that it's intended. Because we didn't do anything that last mission. And we already saw, like, a new note. So I don't know if it just spawns them from the beginning. So you could... Because that kind of incentivizes the wrong behavior, right? That incentivizes, like, loading in and out of a mission to find... Uh new evidence over and over again which is kind of i don't know i feel like that should not be the way that you're incentivized to play hey it's shushi thank you for the 12 months okay so we're going into the forest now and seeing if we can find something under the trees as well as um maybe some evidence i'm gonna hold out my my parent my meter or my uh evp What is the tree marker? This one? That stone! 
I don't think it is. That's a big tree. Big tree would be a good place to put a secret message. Ooh. What the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. Hello? What the hell is going on? What are you doing? Who's there? Are these the cult members? I don't know if there's actually anything under a tree somewhere. Or if that was just like lore. I, I feel like th this is the type of game where you would actually find something under a tree then. How is that not evidence? Is that an animal? I guess it is, but like, what? I guess that's like a... A fucking goat somewhere? Wah. All right, can you talk to me, please? Did we get any EVPs from you? We... Did we? Do you know why I'm here? Did we get EVP? It's just a chupacabra. Just a chupacabra. Do you know why I'm here? Okay. Um, oh, don't do that. Hello, any, any audio evidence, please? Let's look for some EMF. Oh. I want to focus on the demon, like, mostly. So we can actually see what the de- I mean, unless the demon- I feel like it can't be the- the eyeballs, right? Because that photo didn't count. I think that is a different- I think that's a separate entity. I think that's a ghost that's not, like, uh, related to any other ghost. I think that was just a forest spirit. Goat is Baphomet. It's an evil goat. Let's walk over to the Seegerstein family. Because we do have extra notes for- it. For the Siegerstein family, uh, or the Siegerstein ghost as well, right? Well, let's see. Hello? I am here. It seems to be- I wonder if this is like a, a guided way that the game like progresses, or if it spawns different notes randomly. Like, I got a bunch of notes about this specific location, so that's why I'm mostly gonna investigate here, but I wonder if- other people that play get different notes, so they have to, like, they get more notes about the demon or something. Or about the cemetery ghosts. Oh, that's just outside. Hello. What the hell? Oh, excuse me? What? These EMF readings appear to be normal. Oh, come on! <laughs> what are you doing here? You asshole? I've been trolled. Fuck. Fuck you, breaker box. Alright, it's time for... While we are looking out. Time for hydration. Stay hydrated. Absolutely scammed. Oh, baby. Stay hydrated. Um, now, can I talk to you? Because I would love to hear what you have to say. Is this your home? Do you like the current family you living like the here? the current family living here? That's a good question for you. Do you like the current family living here? Oh, you have nothing to say? You have nothing to say? You're only here to spook people, not talk to them. I see how it is. Last time when we were here, we got instantly, like, a bunch of evidence. We don't have the notes for the mausoleum this time, so I doubt we're gonna get any activity there. I'm so glad we saw the candles. Like, we saw the, the candle interaction that was so- Oh, here we go! No, 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 no. You can't be gone! There we go. 
These lights are acting funny. Let's go. Give me twice. Continue investigating. Yes, yes, yes. You should. Excuse me. Ghost. Ghost, where do you go? Okay, it's gone. But at least I got one. One step. The first four are always like trying to get the thermo. Like the way you actually play the game outside of just like going around and just seeing what happens is getting the EMF readings twice, getting the temperature readings twice, and then starting with like EVPs and um, photos of ghosts. But you mostly want to get that EMF and the temperature readings first because it increases the activity. Oh. It increases the activity of the ghost. BMF meter. Let's go! Alright, so... Oh, can this I get more? Paranormal. No? There we go. Dude, I'm doing it! He's beginning to believe! Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Let's go. The C because we have so many notes, we're getting so much evidence. From the Siegerstein family. Come on. Just, just a little bit. Something is going Let's on. Let's go. All right. So we got these all the four things. Definitely we got, I have no explanation for these temperature readings. This must be paranormal. And we got based on how and when I'm seeing meter spikes, I am convinced there's paranormal activity. So that's good stuff. Now we are much more likely to get a, go uh, a photo of the ghost to show up. Hello? Electro attack. Thank you for the tier three, seven months. Thank you. I need to, I still want to check in the mausoleum if there is a note, actually. You know what? Let me go over there now, because there might be... I feel like the notes spawn randomly. So let's check in the mausoleum if there's something to find. Because this is, like, my favorite ghost in the game. Like, the lore of this ghost, I, I find really well done. I hope they're a little... Like, they, they should do something about the notes. I guess the notes should be secret, but... At the same time, you want people to find the notes, right? Not seeing anything. I'm, I'm expecting it to be on the graves. Like something. Prayer beads is nothing. Maybe on the... On the Pierre grave? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, anyway, just wanted to make sure. We could check the church, too. Let's check the church. We get any notes? Cause this is now. Now it's all about collecting them all. You can't go in this building, right? Rexy, thank you for the five months. Oh, it's blocked. Maybe later. It's a really creative idea to have such a large map that you can have so many different ghosts all at once. Love the truck as well. Hello? Hello there. It's me. Don't see anything. It's very dark here, though. The footsteps are so weirdly delayed that when you do a step... When you do a step, it feels like it's something is walking behind you, even though it's your footsteps. Donna, thank you for the three months. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Where the hell... How do the notes work? The notes are such a weird, like, and they're not a weird system, but I don't understand how they how they show up. It's just not clear to me. Like, last time we obviously found a note right away, so it probably spawned from the beginning. So does that mean there's always one note? Because it wasn't their last game. The game before that, we didn't have a note. So I wonder if there's just one random note on the uh, on the map somewhere to be found. From the very beginning, probably. Also, look at this freaking pirate grave. <laughs> Only one note per game. I mean, that's what it feels like. What? Am I insane or did I just see like an animal? I think I'm crazy. I think I'm slowly going mad. Look like hockey sticks? Maybe, maybe it was a hockey player who died in the 1800s. This tree is freaking floating. <laughs> Excuse me. You can't lie to me. Oh. 
That's extraordinary I got it. audio evidence. Holy shit! Let's go! I was so fast on the trigger there. It wasn't me? <laughs> Shaggy over here? <laughs> it wasn't me. And he came in and she caught me right-handed. Creeping with the girl next door. Fictionist, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. <laughs> the ghost is gonna start singing. <laughs> Come on, ghost. Do it again. Sing for me. What song is that? Have you never heard that song? The best, well, I, I can't play it because it's obviously copyrighted, but the best part of the song is when the one guy starts rapping and it's absolutely, like, you can't make out any of the words. It's just like, <laughs> Oh, man. It's gold. It's a good song, though. I know. Is that Shaggy? <laughs> Can you show yourself? I know you can speak. I heard it. Name the song. It called. It's called. It wasn't me. I'm going back into the back into the forest. See if there's anything out here. And this is such a like. There's so much content here. Like actually to experience everything this game has to offer, this might be the ghost hunting game with the most content already. Like, in terms of, to in order to experience everything, it ca it's going to take so many hours. It wasn't me. Oh. That is, I mean, I guess it's normal, but you, you can't lie to me. That is not normal. I guess it's a deer, but it sounds so m demon. So much like a demon. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not getting baited again, you fucking goat. Or deer or something, or whatever you are. Whatever you are. I do like that they have red herring noises cuz that's the only thing they did I mean they did have a little bit of that. But they didn't have much red hearing audio. Because I like that when you have the EMF, you can, like, accidentally get trolled by a, by some electrical outlet. Because it's also provide it's giving EMF readings. And same with temperature when there's, like, a fan in the house or something like that. So, I want to see that for audio as well. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess that was nothing. What? Who are J and K? Can you explain this to me? Maybe... Maybe J and K are the... Wait, maybe they're the new contractors? And they, like... Maybe. And they, um... They communicated with each other by, like, leaving notes. Because obviously the Seekerstein family was still in the house when they got evicted, right? So... They might have... Like, protested by trying to obstruct the contractor's work. <gasps> no! That, I was too far! Come on. Maybe I need to get close. Maybe I wasn't close enough to the eyeballs either. Then Maybe that's why. I wasn't close enough. J and K are the men in black. Come on. Show yourself again. Show your true form. Is this your home? Is this your home? What did I miss? Wait. What? Wow. So it is that not in like the residual. Response. Holy shit. That is very interesting. Wait, let's go. So Siegerstein is not a residual. It's actually an intelligent ghost. That makes so much sense. I, I mean, I think we knew that before. If you, by the way, you could get more information than I can get right here by watching the, like, previous videos on the game as well. Because with the ad additional context you have from the stories now, you will be able to learn a whole lot more about the ghost than we did at the time. So you could be a genius. 
Uh, let's. Do you like the current family living here? I think do that's you like a good the current question. Family living here. <laughs> I think that's a good question. Do you like the current family living here? No. Come on, Banshee in space. Thank you for the six months, and Lonnie. Thank you for the prime. Uh, how many people? How many people are here, other than me? How many people are here, other than me? Come on. Give me something, Mr. Siegerstein. What if I stand on the porch? Maybe that's your place. Uh, why are, why you, are you, here? you here? You can just leave. Why are you here? Come on. Anything you would like to tell me? Maybe that's a good one. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Come on. Let's go! Wow. Mine? That sounded like a response. We're getting something, baby. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, they're, they still believe this is their house, right? I think that's that's what we can surely say. Uh, anything? I've, I feel like, like they could the answer this question. Here? Come on. Better, come on, say no. Do you like the current family living here? Can you get three? Can you tell me your Can name? Can you tell me your name? This house is mine. I'm guessing. Can you tell me your name? If they believe they're the current family, that is true. Maybe they won't respond. Um, is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there any, oh, whoops. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Get out of my swamp. All right, can you tell me your can name? You tell me your name? Did we ask why are you here yet? Because we said, what did we say? Is this can your you home? Yes. Your and then it was, do you know why I'm here? And do then you know it was something else. It was yes and mine. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? That was it. Do you know why I'm here? Come on. Um, anything else we haven't asked? Anyone here? How many people? How many people are we here? We already asked this, right? But other than me. Maybe we'll get an answer now. Come on. What did I miss? What? You have no... We have no How context to your question. Here? I know you've asked it three times, other than but... Me. Uh, you missed the game and how long however long you left that's how much you missed i don't know man <laughs> i don't know what to tell you we are playing a video game obviously you're gonna miss stuff if you leave uh i want to get a, a picture can you show yourself i want to go back into the forest too and i really really want to get a note like, if there's another note here somewhere, we haven't checked in here, right? Have we? What the hell was that noise? Come on. I don't know where these notes, like, if there's any structure to the note showing up. Because one of them was so fucked up, it was just on a random grave. Like, how the hell are you supposed to find that? Seems like kind of... Like, I don't know, if there's really only one note like that, that could mean that there is, like, a note in the mausoleum, so or, like, the the crypt area somewhere. I'm not gonna go around that every single time I load into one of these missions. Are you crazy? Fresh Brew, thank you for the two months, and Freya, thank you for the prime. Like, if you would tell us how long you left, like, I left for ten minutes. Did I miss anything? I can answer your question, but if you say, what did I miss? Like, did were you not here for the whole time? Then you missed everything. I don't know. Like, I can answer your question, but you need to give me some context, my friend. That's all I'm trying to say. 
I'm not I'm not saying the question is illegal. I'm just saying your question is completely useless. Show yourself. I wish I could yell at you. I wish I could say that you're a piece of garbage. Sadly, the game doesn't respond to audio yet. I'm assuming they will. I was out for five minutes. That is, like, obviously you missed very little. I mean, maybe you missed, uh... You no, know, we got a few EVPs. I don't know if you saw that. Piss off the ghost. Can you talk to me again? I really want to know if you, you like, like the, the current, current family, family living here. I want to know. I want to hear no. Do you like the current family living here? Come on. Come on. Be angry. Voice your anger, Mr. Siegerstein. We got so much stuff. We got an outstanding amount of audio evidence, which is two EVPs. It should cause even more interactions, but we've only seen the ghost show up once. Let's go into the- maybe the- the demon in the woods is there already? The, like, blue eyes? If that is the demon, I don't know. Because last time I took a photo from pretty close up and it didn't count it as a photo, right? So I don't really understand... ...how the hell that demon looks like. The Wendigo. I wanna see it! And also, there's the... The red-eyed ghost, which walks between the mausoleum and the woods. Which means it walks over the road? Was That's that... extraordinary audio evidence. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell was that? It was not a goat. That's for sure. It was something. That's another one. This is exact same thing. <gasps> Hi there. Am I just going ham on this? No, I'm not. Is there, are those? It sounds like flies, kind of. There's a deer. Did I check these trees yet? Oh, come on. Give me another note. There's so much stuff I've yet to find on this map. At least I don't think that they show up duplicates, so you will only... Like, if you find a note, it'll always be a new one you haven't already seen. Okay, show yourself. Let's have a little chat. Why are you here? Why are you here? Slenderman. Lies, there might be a sacrifice animal nearby. That is a good one. Why are, are there you jump here? scares? I mean, sometimes. Very rarely, though. There are things that might j scare you because they startle you, but I don't- There's no, like- There's only one straight-up jump scare, which is from the demon in the basement in the first house. That one is, like, where it, like, screams and runs at you. Um. Do you know why I'm here? The ghost deer. Is this multiplayer? It is not. It is, like- It's basically- Do you know why I'm here? If you've ever played Thief Simulator, it is basically... Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. Okay, then. If you've ever played Thief Simulator, this game is kind of like Thief Simulator, but then for ghost hunting. It's a ghost hunting simulator game. Well, hello there. That was also, again, indecipherable. I don't know why there's so much indecipherable audio in this game. It's crazy. Um, can you, can tell, you me tell, tell me your me name? Your we name? already got two EVPs. Yeah, last time I was watched, uh, last time I was in a little can house, and now name? I'm in a forest. Why am I so chill? This is Conrad Stevenson. Welcome. Uh, Conrad is built different. He doesn't give a shit. He will see a demon, and he'll say like, "Oh, how interesting." Uh, how many people? How are many here? people are here, other than me? He does not give a shit. <laughs> How many people are here other than me? More. Come on. Is there anyone here? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? I wish you could walk around. I mean, I guess if you walk around during this, you might glitch the game. 
Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? No. No. Soup, thank you for the four months. Okay. Um, I guess we go back, because we did get a ton of evidence. I would like to get more audio snippets from this ghost. Like, I, I was expecting to hear the crying and, like, the luring of the ghost in the forest, but I don't think we're going to get there right now. We just need a photo, and then we basically got a perfect game, by the way, because I think we got, like, three EVPs in one investigation. We actually got four EVPs, excuse me. You can't count past three. Is that how it is? Maya, thank you for the four months in Koi theme, and thank you for the four months as well. Okay, let's look for a photo of Mr. Siegerstein, like the normal ghost. Mr. Siegerstein. I really want to... Oh! Incredible. I can't go. What is with this film. ghost orb? I really don't understand the significance. Oh, it's gone. I shouldn't have walked on top of it. Like, what is the... Like, what is the lore behind ghost orbs? I'm, like, so unfamiliar with ghost lore. Like, wait, how do... Where did ghost orbs even come from? It's his lantern? Just a guitar. Thank you for the six months. Thank you. Keep him safe. Keep him safe. Okay. That is very clear. Already got it, though. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. That's cool. I don't know why the why Conrad eventually stopped giving me new audio recordings. Because, I mean, I guess maybe the goat sounds just obviously weren't real recordings, but still. Eventually, he just didn't care anymore. A willow wisp. Okay, thank you for the two months. Balls of energy. Seems like they only really walk back here. I mean, I guess because I'm standing there a lot. Maybe if I stand over here, they will spawn there instead. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I'm standing in the in the spot where it wants to show up too much. It's a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. I don't know if there's Halloween decorations in the small houses, by the way. I don't think so. Many believe that these orbs are traces of the spirit's entity. There's still the occult stuff. We tried to find... We tried to find something in the woods, but we couldn't find anything. Dude, there's some fucked up noises. What did the Halloween update add? Two new ghosts and a... I mean, the wiki already existed, but they added a ton of stuff to the wiki itself. Um, I don't see... They definitely... I don't know. Can you in the settings? I'm scared changing the settings because there was a bug with that before. But where can you... Yeah, you can't... That is kind... I feel like that's an oversight. I mean, it's not an oversight because they've removed it. They straight up removed it from the menu. You used to be able to see the ghost in the menu, like what different ghosts there were. And now you can only see the ghost unless there is like a journal. Uh, does it say it anywhere? I don't think so. Yeah, you can't read about the ghosts in the mission itself. Which seems kind of weird, because most people are just going to head into a mission, right? Without reading a wiki beforehand. So, how would they know about the different ghosts? I mean, it's not necessary to know about the different ghosts. But still, it adds more to the game. You know, thank you for the nine months. Thank you. Alright, please. Can you show yourself, Mr. Siegerstein? I really want to hear that this is mine, not yours. <gasps> What are you doing? Did they remove the model of this ghost? Like, if it's true, if it's like a 50-50 chance to be an orb. Because last time we had the ghost show up as the as a person many times in a row. And then we had like two orb events. But we mostly saw it as a guy just walking around. I don't know why the ghost's so shy now. Such a shy boy. Let me go back into the forest. Since we already got quite a few evidence here. I really want to see the demon. As well as, wait a minute. The the red eyes, right? It's, according to the death, this ghost is extremely rare. So, I don't know if we're going to see anything. But it's a ghost that walks between the woods and the mausoleum. So, it would be walk. I don't know if it walks. Can it go around this? Wait a minute. I don't know if, if the ghost shows up here, maybe. Oh, no, there's an invisible wall here. Okay, good. Good. Then I don't have to go back there, and I don't have to worry about it. 
Where are the red eyes? Because we only seen the demon, right? I mean, we haven't seen it. That's the thing. There's just... It's so hard to actually get the, the ghosts to show themselves. It is truly like a, a game where you have to put in a bunch of time to get all the lore and learn everything. You can't just do one mission and be done. Which is the... Like, that would be the downside of a game with a system like this. Like, once you figure out all of the ghosts... You're not necessarily done, but every ghost is always going to be the same, right? There's not procedurally generated ghosts in this game. They're all the exact same ghosts every time. So if you know everything about that ghost, you're basically done. So that's why it's nice to have so many and so much to... <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, goat or dare or whatever you are. Can you show yourself? Meh. Gonna be behind me. Just taking a photo. It's gonna be annoying. I'm here! What if it's above? Hanging from the trees. That would be a, a new thing. I don't trust that thing. <laughs> I don't believe that's normal. I just don't believe you. Go me cast. Thank you for the eight months. Follow the goat. Oh no. I don't think I can go into the trees. Like there's an invisible wall here you see. So you can't just, like, go off into the wilderness. You have to actually stay on the path. But this is the farthest you can go into the woods. Th Wait, that was, like, much further back here. Excuse me? Hello? Anyone back here? Along the sneaky path. Which leads back to here. Allison, thank you for the five months. Man, they are just like putting graves fucking everywhere. This whole town has died ten times over. And all of these graves, this is such a like unorganized graveyard. Like the... Every grave is so different. I mean, that kind of happens on a graveyard. I haven't been on a graveyard in so long. Luckily. Right, I'm going over here. Siegerstein slacking. They had respawn points. It's a European graveyard. What is the difference between a European graveyard and a United or an American graveyard or like an Asian graveyard? Aren't they all just meant to bury bodies? I used to live next to a graveyard? They sound different? European graveyards are more cool. What does that even mean? Religion and burial rites differ? I mean, do they, like, visually differ? I don't think we're gonna get anything. Like, we've been here for so long. I... I feel like if you really, truly want to get, like... You gotta... Like, I'm, I'm spreading myself too thin. I'm separating... Like, I'm spending too much time on all of the ghosts separately. Whereas I should only be focusing on one ghost at a time. Because otherwise, the ghost won't be active enough for you to really reliably get enough evidence. Or there might be... I don't know. Because this ghost feels a lot... Shire now than it was last game. So I think we might just take our photo victory and the few extra voice lines we collected. Because we definitely collected like two or three extra voice lines. I mean, we got a bunch of EV EVPs too, right? Obviously, there is so much more to do here. And I want to go back to the normal houses too. But I think we're going to have to spread the love a little bit. Because we are... We're going to be... We're going to be spending a bunch of time with Conrad in this update. Like, this is crazy. I really love the the lore like when we first went around and we talked about everything there's to do in this place 
I can't wait for the game to have like a fully open world where you go, <laughs> where you can drive around in a car. All right, let's see what, what, what new stuff we got. I want to see it. I want to listen to the audio. And maybe, cause, cause sometimes, like the first mission we did, we randomly got an extra note that I didn't collect, right? So I don't know how that works. Sometimes you just get an extra note out of nowhere. Like you get one for free. So that's another golden trophy, which I can use to later buy equipment, right? Never been to a graveyard? Never in your life? What the hell? Uh, let's see. So did we get a, did we get a, a free note? We did not get a free note. Uh, but I don't, so I really don't know how we got this one then. Uh, but yeah, there's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes to find, which is crazy. So yeah, definitely a whole lot more to do here. And on these ones, there's two more. On this ones, there is four more. So I definitely want to go. I, I think next time we play, we might focus a little bit on the normal houses again and try to get some more notes there. But let's listen to this audio. Uh, don't go. I want to go to... Yes. We oh, didn't interact with that ghost. This one? It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't in? It wasn't him? It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't me? No, it wasn't him. Okay. Wait, what did they do? Did they, like, commit some, uh, some crimes after they got evicted? It wasn't him. Keep him safe. Keep him safe. We got that one before. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Mine? Mine? Hello? Yes. Is this your home? Yes. I mean, that's 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 clear. And then we have more notes for the Wintercoa. The douche. That's the one we got before. Wait, so it is sounds from the demon. Excuse me? So it is the demon. It's not a goat. It's a demon. Unless it... I mean... It's a goat demon. I would do way. Out of way? Out of way, it might be that one. It's not I love men, guys. I mean, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I still love men. Is that what he says? <laughs> I don't think that's what he says, but now <laughs> I'll show you math. <laughs> you can't. St uh, I wish they could. They would allow you to play stuff backwards, but you can't do that. I don't think that's a language I can understand. And then we're back here. Alrighty. So yeah, uh, again, this, this game just requires you to really go all in on it now. Even though we played for like two hours, we still... This is the emo, by the way, you get from the from the people when you first get called out here. There is still so much more to do. So yeah, let me know if you want to see me go back, try to find even more lore, maybe focus purely on the other ghosts that we didn't really go... Because we didn't really go to the church... And we didn't really focus too much on the shadow ghost here because there is definitely a there's two ghosts in the church as well i really wanted to see the new ghosts which i definitely got spooked by those so yeah i hope you enjoyed let me know what you think about the new system i hope you enjoyed my tour to the new eidolon church uh if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely games here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m central repeat that thank you very much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys bye bye have a good one bye guys it was enjoying Conrad Stevens's Paranormal PI so long that I played it for a long time, which is the case. So that's the plan we're gonna enact. I have a game which, uh,
according to Jess, and from what I saw as well, is an absolutely awesome game. It is about 30 minutes to an hour, so maybe we'll have some time to do a few Phasmo games after we're done. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I got it right on my desktop somewhere. There you go. It's called Suffer the Night. Let's do it. More games. I'm glad I did my test correctly. I'm glad I <laughs> I remembered most of the things, actually. I was kind of impressed with myself. All right. Um, suffer the night. Suffer the day is me every time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, new horror game. Oh, baby. What are you doing? Why did it launch in VR? Oh, Jesus Christ. Help. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Jesus! That's the loudest game I've ever seen, man! Why is it so loud? What the fuck? I'm gonna turn on music. Music, yes. Okay, holy fuck. Thank you. My ears regret ever starting this game. Right, here we go. Look at that guy. That guy looks nice. <laughs> so wait, let me quickly uh, read you the Steam store page to this game. Because I just learned about this literally like an hour before the stream. Suffer the night. This is... You take on the role of Stacey Lydon, a painter of for horror novels. A painter for horror novels? She is startled awake by the sound of thunder. The evening starts like any other. Out of nowhere, an envelope appears on the floor next to the front door. It contains a vintage text-based horror game in the form of a floppy disk. Okay, then. It is the year 1989. Currently, a powerful storm is raging through the county of Sleepy Woods Mountain. You take on the role of Stacy. Yeah, that we already read that experience. Suffer the Night is a unique horror experience that combines first-person survival horror with old text-based dungeon crawl systems from the late 80s. So it's kind of like we never left in that in a way. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you attempt to advance through the text-based plot while being stalked by a strange pale figure. Okay. Well, that's 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 all I, that's all you have to say, man. I just gotta move chat because chat, you're on top of the text. You might have noticed this. It's very rude of you. You're on top of the of the name of the game. All right, let's hop in here and have a good time. Did I change the game? Uh, it probably happened. Yes, I think so. All right, thank you. Uh, let's go. Here we go. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome to Suffer the Night. This is a brand new horror game that is uh, a mix of two genres. It is on one end a first-person horror game, and then on the other hand, it is a text-based dungeon crawler adventure because in the game, at the start, you find an old floppy disk to a very old game. And also, you got this guy over here who is stalking you, so you're trying to play this uh, dungeon crawling game while this guy is trying to make your life miserable and it just looked like a really cool adventure so i wanted to check it out and i really hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go all right let's actually change the audio levels again i'm gonna keep this up high and then we're just gonna why is this the loudest game the world has ever seen it's insane i put it down to 10 percent, and it's still crazy that's nuts all right, new game. Here we go. Suffer the night. <gasps> oh, what the hell? For a lady? Nice legs. Um, excuse me? <laughs> oh, I must have dozed off. Jeez. Why did my clothes spawn in secondary? I must have dozed off. I need to find something. Oh, hello there. What the hell? Am I in the attic? Is that Winnie the Pooh? It's not Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the... I'm a little... I ate too many hamburgers. Uh, can I have a flashlight, please? The radio for an update on the storm. This is the tiniest font I've ever seen in my life. Hold, Q, hold down Q to show current objective. Current objectives. Check radio for weather update. Okay. Is this, this is not a radio. That's a computer. I can... I can... Look over shoulder. Oh, no, don't do that. 
That's creepy. Look at this. Midnight Riders lost in the night. Okay, let's check the radio. Can I get out? Um, I just... What the hell did I just do? Oh, I got teleported. Th oh, there's the radio. Hi there. It's Siren Head? This is an emergency broadcast. Oh, it's too quiet. One second. I need to turn up the audio. I can barely hear this. Okay, let's turn down music because music was too loud. And then we turn this up. It is so weird, the audio balance. Okay, let me let me just fucking restart the whole thing. This this shit is conf this shit confused the hell out of me. I need to I need to tweak with the audio a little bit. Uh, also, it's launching in Steam VR. Why is this such a thing that every indie game does? Every indie game launches in VR mode. I don't know why. I don't even have my VR headset in like plugged into my computer. You can lower ambient sounds. I mean, I guess we could just tweak everything manually. The dialogue is, yeah, let's change. Okay, so music is still really loud. Oh my god. Please. Save me. Okay. Options. Holy fuck. Okay. We're gonna leave this at 25. We're gonna turn up ambient volume to 50%. And we're gonna turn up mu music to 15%. Or like 25. Sounds about right. So we have the sound effects are gonna be really loud though. Maybe like this. This seems about right. Let's do that. Because the uh, the dialogue should be, ma should be maxed out. Let's go. I think that's fine. Bucket slot, thank you for the nine months. Oh, baby. I woke up from a nightmare and then I woke up because I wasn't oh, sleeping under a blanket. Off. Jeez, the storm is really picking up. What kind of psycho doesn't sleep under a blanket? I need to have a blanket or no blanket gang. Can I can actually not sleep if I don't have a blanket, like on at least one part of my body. I check the radio for an update on the storm. I need to have a blanket on like one leg at least otherwise i just can't sleep only one only blanket ever of course siren head on the radio <laughs> hi there this is an emergency broadcast this is not a test the county of sleepy Ridge mountains has issued a severe lightning storm warning and is suggesting residents stay inside the National Weather Institute is saying this is a Category 2 storm with sustained winds ranging from 74 to 87 miles per hour and should last all through the evening into tomorrow night. Lighting has struck multiple transformers, causing power outages in some areas. If your power is hot or goes out, do not be alarmed. KW357 will continue to follow the storm as it develops. Check back at the top of every hour for updates. The, the sound is so low. Okay, so there's a big storm and we need to check back every hour. Because we we changed we change the audio. Look at this audio. Dialogue is up to 100. Master volume down to 25. And I guess master volume just needs to be up a little more. Let's do that. And then we're turning this down accordingly. Yes. All right. Let's do that. Oh, baby. Um... Can I leave? Interact with door handles to drag them open. Oh, hi there. Also, the text is so small, by the way. <laughs> it's the tiniest text of all time. I'm really hungry. Some eggs and toast sound good. And some coffee to wake me up. Is this morning? It seems like it's late at night. The moon is out. Why would you drink coffee in the middle of the night? That's one way to never get any sleep whatsoever. Charlotte, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you. Nice boom box. I don't think this is my house, given that I'm sleeping, like, in the attic. I also would like to have a flashlight. I guess I could turn on lights in the house. Maybe it's 5 a.m. She woke up at 4 in the morning. So many paintings. Alright, let's eat some, uh, eat some eggs. Eggs. Just eat them. Take. Picked up egg. Eggs. Now make them. Bread as well. Picked up bread. <laughs> and now, 
Put bread in toaster. Bread was used. Make eggs. Where's the pan? Oh, that's... There is no freaking way. That's the fastest toaster I've ever seen. Excuse me. I need the coffee pot first. Okay, where's the coffee pot? Oh, there we go. Pan. I can't pick up the pan. Where's my coffee pot? I'm just waking up for a midnight snack and a midnight coffee before going back to bed. Seems like the worst idea I've ever had in my life. Uh, am I blind? Is there a pot? Coffee pot anywhere? Oh, is that it? That is... What the hell is even that? What the hell is even that? Sink? Aha! I didn't see it. Thank you. Now I need to... Gr uh, now I need some ground coffee beans. Can I turn up the resolution of the... I doubt it. But can I turn up the... The size of the, the subtitles. I don't think so. I think we're just going to have to deal with this. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Okay, so we need ground coffee beans. Thank you. And then put it in there. The coffee should be ready soon. I mean, knowing your how, your, how fast your toaster is, the coffee machine is probably not going to be any different. Now I would like to... I need a frying pan first. That's what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. Frying pan. I need some butter from the fridge. Come on, man. Come on. You are so... I mean, this makes sense, but still. I didn't ex I didn't know this was a cooking simulator. Now for the eggs. Also my coffee. I need a coffee mug. Jesus Christ, lady! <laughs> so... So demanding. The eggs should be ready soon. The eggs should... Eggs, the eggs, the eggs, the eggs, the eggs. Give it to me! What is that? It looks like you put, like, gelatin. I need a spatula. Oh my god, just... Fucking... Use hands. Are you kidding me? Just let it go on the plate. Just is that me? Where's the spatula? Any 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 spatulas? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I'm, just, I'm blind. It's on the wall. I need to put I need to put a plate on the fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You can't do anything. There you go. I've made breakfast. Yummy, yummy. Okay, Forgot breakfast to put some made. Forgot in the wash down in the basement. Okay. Forgot to put some clothes in the wash down in the basement. Okay, so we have there. We have a basement. This house is already creepy enough. You don't need a basement, lady. I guess this is the basement. I need a garage key to open this door. Okay. Life simulator. Yep. Uh, where are the basement at? Is that the basement door? This seemed like it went outside. Yeah, this does not go to the basement. Also, these lights suck. Is there any any creepy man outside waiting for me? I hope not. Why would I go upstairs to go to the basement? What am I, stupid? Where's the basement door? Maybe I do have to go outside. This is abs it's absolutely pouring. I shouldn't go outside. Okay, then. Oh, there's a basement door right here. I'm stupid. Oh, boy. Please have a light. Why would you not put your light switch to the basement at the top of the basement stairs? Do you want me to die of a heart attack? Okay. That's better. What the hell? This place is so fancy. Look at this. Okay, I can't sprint, by the way, in case you're confused why I'm walking so goddamn slow. Um, any washing machines? What doors require a key from the inside? I mean, your front door, <laughs> for example. Do you have a front door? Oh yeah, wait a minute. I remember when I was in the US. Some doors you can just open from the inside at all times. 
most doors require you to unlock them, like at least outside doors. I need the basket of dirty laundry first. Thank you. There you go. Because in the US, you sometimes have like a like a lock on the door that you can just like rotate. And that's the way you lock the door. You don't actually use a key. Head back upstairs, okay? This is chore simulator. What the hell? I saw that. You see a face. Uh, who could that be at this hour? Who would be here at this hour and in this storm? I said that. I called dips on that sentence. <laughs> Deadbolts, deadbolts. That's what I'm thinking about. Well, I'm gonna open the door for a creepy killer. Don't open the door. Is this the front door? Can I look Why through? Did this envelope get here? Uh oh. To Stacy. Suffer the night. A floppy disk? Where did this come from? There's no one at the door. I mean, there must have been. Oh, I'm gonna play this game. I wanna play the floppy disk game. How do you even have a computer that can run a floppy disk anymore? Like, I have one, but it's so old you can't. Like, that thing start. It takes like 30 minutes to start that computer. Can you still buy, like, can you buy, like, a floppy to USB driver? <laughs> you probably can. Oh, here we go. That bolts are safer. You can't get locked if someone takes the key because there is no key. Uh, I would like to play the game and also look over shoulder so I don't die. Uh, what am I doing? Or, oh my God. Localized drivers. We got blah, 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 blah. Press enter to continue. Eldrickson. Press enter or please enter password to log in. Hint, my favorite author, Stephen King. It's everyone's favorite author. Ah, fuck. What's your favorite author? Is it, is it with, uh, oh wait, it's with, an, uh, with a P? Wait, I'm telling you this is correct. Whoops. Can I get zoom into the computer, please? Oh, I'm telling you, Stephen King. Fuck, what's wrong? <laughs> Wait, I can sprint in my room. Do you got any books? What's your favorite author? Yo, yo. Any? Can I look? I want to look at the books. Cindy, New Wave. Herself, Michael Jackson, Juliana Silva. Film. This is a film. Woman in Red. The Midnight Riders. That's not. That's a music. That's music. That's not a. That's not an author. Jason. Jason. Wait, it's always Jason. No, it's just the same. Same exact. Edgar Allan Poe. Dude, I am. Confused. Stanley. M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. Notebook. Oh, wait, right here. There's a notebook. Aha. Can I open the notebook? Akbil! I am unfamiliar with any author you could ever talk. Akbil? Wait, did I type that wrong? <laughs> wait. Wait. Oh, it's not a space? I thought there was a space in there. Wait, zoom in. Echbil? Excuse me! Am I stupid? Did I not type it correctly? It says Echbil. Or is it Echpil? What the hell is this word? Echpai L? Is that a is that an author? Echpai L? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. What kind of name is that? 
Anyway, we got we're in. <laughs> Welcome back, Stacy. Please type one of the following commands. Run drive A, run drive B, shut down. Run drive B. Run drive A. Suffer the night. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now. Also, I need to get up from this fucking chair because this sound of the buzzing of the computer makes me lose my ears. I need to turn down sound effects. Get out of here. It's still loud as fuck. No, it's, it's definitely less loud though. Okay. Uh, your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now swings. You awaken on cold, wet stone. The air is moist. A sickly sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can f you can barely make out your surroundings. List of commands. Get up. You slowly rise to your feet. As you do a sharp as you do, a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull, and your vision blurs, then refocuses. You are in a cave uh, or a cavern of some kind. A bright light off in the distance grabs your attention. List of commands. Go forward. Search. Use item. Nothing was found. Go forward. A cliff face lies before you. The light you notice is coming from the top. You must climb to reach it. Climb up. Climb or search first. Search. Nothing was found. Climb up. You reach the top. An old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flames flickers and sways as a breeze blows from down the path. The undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. List of commands. Go for Search. Nothing was found. Is this going to be a motif? Uh, go forward. You enter a large open mausoleum. Its chambers are empty. Except surrounded by fresh wax candles a sing single l dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room the pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here to your right there is a large wooden double door list of commands go right go back search you open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea from the grotesque stench inside or inside is the corpse of a man look over shoulder It's fine. I'm not dead. Um, it's, the it's the corpse of a man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots. While searching the coffin and body, you notice an old key in one of his hands. Disgustedly, fe wait, disgustedly feeling back each finger from his... Or peeling back each finger from his rigor mortis induced hand, you take the key. A key was added to your inventory. Okay. So we got a key, so go right. Two torches light the large wooden door that blocks your way. You try to open it, but it is locked. A key is required. Use key. Use item. You use the key to open the door. The path, path leads to the right. List of commands, go right. I mean, you can search first. Search. Wait, did we open the door? Wait, did we just open the garage door? I can sprint now. No, we, I don't think we did. That would be, that would be interesting. Cause, cause like, if this is like, we never left, which we never left was an incredible game with, uh, with like store or like a, uh, text-based adventure as well as, uh, like a 3D adventure. Uh, but let's see, search, nothing was found. Go right. Excuse me. What the fuck? Can I close my door? That does not seem natural. I hate it here. Uh, you turn the corner into another long hallway. Torches light the way along the narrow path. Just as you investigate the surroundings, a gut-wrenching scream echoes off the walls towards you. Excuse me. It's a 4D game. That just happened. Nothing was found. Go forward. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sepulcher. Sepulcher, sorry. 
Housed inside are two small coffins. They have been nailed and fastened shut. Cob cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. Small clay urn sits in the corner next to one of the coffins. List of commands. Go right. Let's search again. You, you check inside the urn, expecting to find ash, but inside the light catches a glimmer of something shiny reflecting back. You reach in and find an antique lighter. A small inscription has been scratched off. Perhaps a family heirloom? You, you apply pressure to the sparkly wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wig. Surprisingly, it still works. Light, lighter was added to your inventory. Okay. You attempt to proceed, but the path of ahead is obscured by darkness. Let's look around our shoulder battle. Wait, our lights turned off. Oh, but they said the power was going to turn off, right? They, they already said that. Um, use item. Using the lighter, a large... What the hell was that? It sounded like an explosion. And all the power just went out. Uh oh. Can we go. It's not a gin. <laughs> we go into. Why is it like? Cover art I painted for the book Tornado of Souls. It's pretty epic. It's not detailed enough for cover art, though, I feel. So, yeah, our, I think our character makes art for horror novels. Oh. It looks like the Transformer blue. Lightning must have struck it. Oh, rip. I need to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. Okay, then. Is this your house? Why the fuck do you have such a such a weird living room? It's so empty. Why is the house so big? Is there gonna be a guy out here? The guy from the from the title screen? In the basement. Dun dun dun. Backup generator. Back here, maybe. Yup. And that bad boy. On. Damn! I forgot to refuel the generator the last time I cleaned it. There's some fuel out back at the boathouse. I should grab a flashlight in the garage before heading outside. Yes, you should. Okay. Uh, how do we get in the garage though? We don't have the key for that. I'm. I I'm think I left the key to the garage in the bathroom the last time I took a shower. Why? Why? What were you doing with the garage key when you were taking a shower? So many questions. The bathroom up here? Yep. So freaking there's no power. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I saw that. I think there is power. Excuse me? Shit. Oh, a fuse must have blown. Ooh, that light bulb is toast. I saw a face. You are a ghost? Where's my key? There it is. Thank you. Take the key. Pick the garage key. There's a guy. It's a mirror. Oh, baby. It's the darkest house of all time. Because of the breaker. Uh, interact with the worst. Yes. I need to garage. Oh, I need to interact with the lock specifically. I see. So detailed. All right, where's my flashlight? There it is. I should head to the boathouse out back. There should be some fuel I can use for the generator there. Okay. We're gonna head outside in this weather. That sucks. Okay. I don't like it here. Run! We're gonna get so wet! Man, this is one fancy building. One fancy, like, mansion estate. Shut the door behind me? No. <laughs> I should probably do that, huh? I don't think you can close doors in this game. I tried closing my own door and I couldn't. Catch and release. Uh, why are you blinking like that? That's fuel. I need my jerry can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jerry can? Jerry can? Jerry cannot? Where's my jerry can? Is it out back? Outside? On the dock? 
There it is. Is that what they said? What the hell? That is the most badass looking jerry can I've ever seen. Hello? It's a fuel pump inside the boathouse. That's sick. Now I can refuel the backup generator. I should head back to the basement. Okay. Transformer fuel can, truly. Is there gonna be a guy out here? Did you even? Why are you? What? What kind of clothes are you wearing, lady? <laughs> you are freezing. This is not the weather to be wearing shorts. Okay. Can I close this door? I can't. Okay. I couldn't close my own front door, so or my own room door. So I assume that's why. Now, uh, generator. Set the circuit breaker, and that should restore the power. Whoop. The power should be working now. I should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer. Okay. Are we on an island? If we have a boat like this? Or are we just mega rich? The power is limited. I should turn on... I shouldn't turn on the lights unless I need to. Okay. Adding a little bit of a creepy factor to the game, huh? What the fuck? Cover art I painted for the book The Dead Lights, written by Richard Bachman. That's a cool that's a cool painting right there. Oh. Cover art I painted for What Lies Below Ech Pi L. What the heck? Ech Pi L. I've never heard of that. Is that a real name? Cover art for House of the Raven. Lovecraft. It's like a. It must be like a pseudonym, right? I need to turn on the. I need to call the. Call in the broken transformer. F by L. It's H P L H P Lovecraft. Are you fucking kidding me? What? There's no signal. The line's dead. Did the storm knock out the phone lines as well? What? Okay, well, never mind then. Not again! The doorbell again? What the hell is going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? I mean, they're spending their time outside in the rain. Seems like a waste of their time! Look. Music? Music? No, no, thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Um, am I supposed to look through the- Oh, come on. Hello? Who's there? Hello, young lady. My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside to use your phone? No! No! What are you doing all the way out here? Are you the one who put the floppy no, disk through my no, 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 no. Floppy disk? Oh, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Oh. Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Oh, really? The phone lines are dead, you say? Uh, <laughs> well, perhaps I can come in to dry off and get out of uh, the storm. That is the sussiest. <laughs> I'm not in the business of letting strangers into my home. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. Also, the smile. Holy fuck. Very well, Stacy. I'll find my own way in. <laughs> Excuse me. No, sir. Uh, are you gonna break the window? What are you doing? What are you doing? How about you leave? What the hell is this brightness? What the hell is going on? How did that creep know my name? 
Oh yeah, I didn't even cause I didn't even think about that. Uh oh, a phone. Is that upstairs? Oh god damn it! Sounded like it came from the kitchen. Did the phone lines work again. Hello, is anyone there? I need help. The Joker. Hello, Stacy. The call is coming from inside the building. You sick fuck! Why are you doing this? I want you to finish my game, Stacy. I'll make you a deal. If you finish the game, I might just leave you alone. Might? I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you, leave me alone. I, I have a gun. I know you're lying, Stacy. <laughs> now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. Okay, I'm playing the game. I'm also closing my door. Oh, come on. I have to restart the fucking com Oh, because the breaker. Oh, wait, no, it loaded up. Thank you. Using the lighter, a large stairway is illuminated in front of you. You try to make out what's at the top, but it is too dark. Go forward. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make out that the path continues to the right. Uh, you enter a spacious room with a large round... Also, do I need to look around? Uh, oh, come on. Uh, you enter a spacious room with a large round wooden table at its center. On the table sits a small lockbox chains around the box and feed into a skull. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The l room splits into two paths, one blocked by a large iron cage, the other open. Search this freaking skull thing. Nothing was found. Okay, well, go right. You approach the path on the right. In front of you is another set of double doors. Uh, this one suspicious, this one suspiciously has one door halfway open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Search. I can't type. Nothing was found. Go forward. You attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Uh, use item. Also search. Up there uh, excuse me. Hello? Sir, I, I'm gonna finish the game. I promise. Using the lighter, you illuminate the hallway. It stretches into darkness. The air is still. Clay urns are scattered around all over the floor. You knock one over as you walk in ash. And ash is kicked up into the air. Your nostrils and mouths are fill filled as you breathe it in, causing you to cough. Oh, we coughed. Wait, did he cough? I thought it was things, fall things falling over. Nothing was found. Oh, wait, an urn just got... Maybe an urn fell over. Maybe our urn downstairs fall, fell over. David, thank you for the 22 months. Continuing down the dark alleyway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into a pulp. The sight of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes from the man's abdomen, but it is lodged too deeply to make it out. The hallway continues straight. Search. You reach up. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> He's crawling on the fucking walls. reach up into the corpse abdomen and up through the chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the corpse and splatter onto the ground. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and you pull it out. 
It's strange. It's a strange key made of a bone. On the top, a skull has been carved. Skull key was added to your inventory. Go forward. You reach the end of the hallway and find a large window. Iron bars cover the cover the window, allowing no escape. You peer out, hoping to find some signs of life, but see nothing except for the moon. A gibbet cage is off to the off to your left. Behind it, the path continues. Search. Nothing was found. Go left. Is there? Oh, go back to the chest. Go back. Uh, uh oh. Go for forward now, right? No, go back, go back, go back. Wait, I can't go there? Wait, back at the double doors, you walk up to them and they slam shut. You race to open them, but they are impervious to your efforts. The way back is impassable. What the fuck? Well, never mind then. Well, okay then, I guess we're not opening the, the chest. Go forward. Uh, go left. I checked the door. I couldn't. After turning up the corner, you come to a dead end. An enormous brazier sits between two pillars. Two metal rings rise up from the top with wax candles attached all around. A gust blows past you, but its source is not apparent. Search. When you inspect the brazier, you see that it has cr a crawl space concealed behind it. You drag the brazier while standing under its- while straining under its weight till it is out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Uh, search? Nothing was found. Crawl in! You go into the confined passage. Its cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. Ahead, you can see the exit. Go forward. That was glass breaking. Did he get in? Uh oh. It sounded like it came from downstairs. Wait, did I get into my own house in the game? Uh oh. I broke into my own building. What the hell is this noise? Oh, it's the television downstairs. Close, close my door. It's fine. We need to. Uh, why are we even going downstairs? I, this seems stupid as hell. Hi there. Well, the window is broken. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up this window. There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. I don't think if the guy wanted to go through the window, he'd already have done so. I don't... <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, God. Wait, do I have to be fast? Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. I would board up all I mean, these windows if I had enough planks. I can only hope that he won't break in if I keep playing his game. Okay, let's do it. Is this Stranger? This is Stranger. <laughs> New update for Stranger. We gotta play Stranger again, by the way. I wonder if the dev is still adding more, more content to the game. Okay. Uh, you exit the crawl space and enter a chamber. A small table is to your right. On it are tiny candles and what looks like are human bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entryway is right wide open. Search first. You search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter. It might be handy, so you decide to take it. Rope was added to your inventory. Can I search more? Can't search more. Uh, go left. A flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Chain links and iron cuffs hang from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming from a hole in the ground off to the left. Search. Nothing was found. Well, go left then. Or go... Wait, I can't go to the left. Wait. Go back. I wanted to go into the hole. Uh, Wait, we can put the rope in the hole. Never mind. You secure the rope to the wooden bed. 
with a bowling bowling knot. If you want to, you can now descend the sewer drain. However, the smell is very uninviting. Climb down. I don't care. You lower the rope until you are at the drain's base. When you jump into the ground, you splash up into a layer of vicious su v viscous sewage. Uh, what is... How do you spell vicious and how do you spell viscous? Because I always confuse those two words. Are they differently spelled or are they just the exact same word? Uh, you suddenly retch, start to heave. It's... Oh, there's an eye. I'm stupid. Uh, you suddenly retch, start to heave, and then ultimately throw up. You collect your composure and glance around, noticing a path in front of you. Nothing was found. Go forward. Sloshing around through the sewage, you reach a corner. The path continues to your left. Search in the fucking shit. Vicious is not viscous. No, I know. That's what viscous is not vicious. I know. Uh, that's why I asked. Go left. You enter a circular room. There is a stairway leading up. You spot a body floating in the sewage that is covered in black robes. What? It drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on you with its bright yellow eye. Approaching the corpse with caution, you push to roll it over. Wait. What the fuck? You push to roll it over. As you do it, it springs to life with a blood-curdling shriek. It charges at you, slashing with claw-like fingernails. You evade the initial strikes, but when, then you feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open. It scurries back before vanishing up the steps. We're gonna get infected. Nothing was found. Well, I guess, uh, oh, you enter a circular room. There is a stairway leading up. You grab at your wound, remembering the creature that gave it to you. Go up. You begin to ascend the stairs as you move, blood begins to ooze. My flashlight is not working, why not? straight through the wall and dresser while I was downstairs. Whatever it is, it's not human. <laughs> Excuse me? Finish the game. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Uh, you begin to ascend to the stairs. As you move, blood begins to ooze from the wound that thing gave you. Torches light the stairway, but the, t the top is pitch black. List of commands. Go up or search first, always. Always search first. Nothing was found. You reach the top of the stairway, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Use item. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Startled, you step back as you are confronted by a wall of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left behind some cobwebs. Search the catacomb. Siraj, no search. Nothing is found. Go left. You round the corner into a vast room. Four pillars enclose an enormous well, which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. The water in the well has a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which, through which moonlight shines. A narrow passage is off to the left. You reach the guardrail. As you get closer to the well, you examine the water. You notice a spherical object that is glowing with huge of, hues of yellow and red. It ne nearly seems to be begging you to remove it from the slimy water. You begin to experience an unnatural yearning to grab it. List of commands. Grab item. <laughs> you reach for the strange orb. As you do, the robed creature emerges from the depths its face twisted into a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms with the orb in hand, almost as if it was making an offering. Fixated on the orb, you are unable to stop yourself from snatching it. The creature allows, uh, slowly sinks back into the abyss. Strange orb was added to your inventory. Nothing was found. Uh, 
behind me. No, nope, no orb. Uh, you're round the, yeah, yeah, the well in the water, repulsive odor, or passage to the left, go left. Skulls and bones carefully placed in a mass, ma macabre pattern, litter the small passage. At the very end, a brazier sits, its flame lit like a beacon. Teddy? Teddy? Teddy is evil. A dead end is reached. A pair of skeletons. Oh! What? How the fuck? Wait, you can die in this game? I thought it was all just scripted. Excuse me? What did I do? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I'm so confused. I need I needed to flash him? Or like search or I needed to touch the bear probably. I should have not I can't ignore the guy. He doesn't want to be ignored. I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, um Thank you. Now what do we do? The exit crawl wait, where are we? To your left is a small flight of stairs, uh leading up to a gate wait. Okay, so we need to do this again. Go left. Uh and then use item. If we have it, we don't. Oh, fuck. Go back. Search. And then take. Uh, sir. Or we take the rope. Go left. And then use item. And then go down. Climb down. Uh, left. Search. Go up. Go up. Use item. I'm speed running. Oh no, now I need to do this, before, otherwise I die. Hi, my friend. Yes, I need to I need to do the that. tore straight through the wall and dresser while I was downstairs. Okay, Whatever left. it is, it's not human. And then search the orb? Do I want the orb? Maybe I don't want the orb. Wait. Because if I get the orb again, I think we're just going to get the orb again. And then I'm going to... Let's do that. Let's do this first, and then we'll see if this kills me again. And then... Go left. Okay. Skulls and bone carefully placed in a macabre pattern. Lit in the small passage. At the very end, a brazier sits. Its flame lit like a beacon. He's not there yet, right? He's not there yet. Let's go forward. Now he's there. Okay. So now instead of continuing, I got to get up and go here. I'm guessing. God, I think I'm losing my mind. Okay. Yes. Okay. I did. I I was. Power is limited. I, I shouldn't have ignored the guy. That's what I did. I should have turned off the light. And I'm also going to close my door just in case that does anything. I doubt it does, but let's try. Okay. Now we continue. A dead end is reached. A pair of skeletons clad in black. Robes are lit by two braziers. Don't kill me, please. From the earth, a golden statue of a hand rises. Its fingers are positioned as if it were holding something. Yet it is empty. Uh, search, obviously. Oh, wait, the orb! You place the strange orb in the golden hand. When you do, it sinks slightly into the ground. A rumbling begins and intensifies. A large round stone slab begins to rise. For a brief moment, dust and debris fall fills the air, making it difficult to see. When it settles, you notice a new passage has been revealed. Go. Go forward. Behind me? I think we're fine. Traveling deeper into the catacombs, you approach two pyramid-shaped monuments. All the way up, they are or ornamented with rows of skulls and bones. A lone statue, a lone, a lone statue, further back is followed by two more morbid monuments. Search. Nothing was found. Oh, 
What the fuck? Hello? I don't know how much more of this I can take. As long as we play his- as long as we play by his rules, we should be safe. It was a true jump scare. He jumped. You were right before a golden statue of a person wearing robes and holding an oval base. The chamber is lit by a massive chan can chandelier constructed of numerous bones. The path continues right. Search this thing. You examine the gleaming statue. The, ba the basin was writing has writing engraved into it. It reads, blood is the bond, the blade is the key. An offering must be made. A spiral staircase is found when you turn the corner. The steps are lit by lights from above, right and left. Gra graves have been f dug into the walls. Skulls and bones cover the wall behind the stairs. Search the bones, nothing was found. We still have that. Wait, we do have, yeah, we're, we do have a cut, right? Can we use item or like when search and then use item? Oh, come on. We, we already we're bleeding already. You climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching your surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To your to your left, a large ca candelabra. Candelabra? I never know how to pronounce these words. Made of bones. A balcony looking down on the golden statue is directly ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, search. Nothing. Just found. Panoodle, thank you for the 22 months. Uh, go right. You approach the passage and see that it is blocked by an iron gate. A wooden counterweight lever or lever is mounted on the wall next to the gate. Use search the lever. You begin... That was just normal? 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 I don't have to do anything? Can't turn... Can't turn on the light. You begin rotating the counterweight lever. The, the gate begins to rise. You continue until the passage is open. Oh, what the fuck? You piece of garbage. Fuck you. At the end of the passage, you find a set of double doors. Light shines through the gap of the doors. You press against them and notice they are unlocked. Go forward. You push the door open and find yourself in familiar surroundings. A large fire pit lights the room, and you can see that you are in back in the room with the skull chest. However, you are on the opposite side now. Inside the iron cage. Okay. Interesting. The gate of the iron cage is now unlocked, and you approach the skull chest. The door on the right are still locked and won't budge. It would seem you have reached a dead end. Or search. Okay, I guess use item. You turn the strange key after inserting it inside the skull's mouth. The chest is unlocked with a mechanical click. You discover a blade inside. You can see that it is covered in weird writing and symbols as it shimmers in the light. You feel yourself falling into a trance as you inspect it. It's absolutely beautiful. A strange dagger was added to your inventory. Uh-oh. I think I know what we're doing. Go back. Just go back all the way. And then search. Use item. You cut a gash in the palm of your leg. What, 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 what? I think that was something in the game, but it scared the shit out of me. You cut a gash in the palm of your left hand with a peculiar blade. 
squeezing the open wound, you extend your hand over the basin. The basin starts to... Look how full that thing is! It starts to accumulate blood. As it does, the sound of gears turning can be heard, but it's unclear where it's coming from. Okay. Wait, I can only... Oh, I search in the blood? You search the area and try to look... Try to locate the sound or the source of the sound. You notice a narrow path has appeared where a gravestone once stood. You force your way through and notice a staircase in the distance. As you get close to the steps, you notice they are carved from fine marble. You hear the gears spinning once more. The gravestone reappears, blocking the way back. Climbing the steps, you enter a dark room. Dozens of lit candles are scattered all across the floor. Their lights reflects, reflects off marbled floors and polished granite, granite pillars. A chill suddenly shoots down your spine as the space is unsettlingly quiet. Go forward. Moving farther into the room, you find yourself at, at its center. You can see a table and some dark shapes in the distance. You try to use the lighter you found, but the fuel is spent. Your heart begins to race, and you begin to experience an increasing sense of dread. You walk up the table. A few candles and a solitary book with, an, with a quill are placed on the top of it. A figure in a black suit and top hat is seated behind the table. Its hand appear to be fitted with gloves that have knives attached to each finger. Its head is leaning sideways on the table, and its face is expressionless. Skeletons dressed in robes in various poses surround the figure. List of commands. Search. You examine the book. Its cover its cover features an odd symbol and is bound in letter. A stunningly or a stunning teal feather is used to make the quill. It feeds into a nib with a complex engraving. The figure in the chair remains motionless. Zagax, thank you for these three months. Thank you. The leather strap holding the book closed is released. The book flips open and you hear the jarring crack of bones as the head of the figure slowly rises. You freeze in horror as its stare comes face to face with yours. It starts to talk in sinister voice. You finally arrived. continues you have completely completed all the trials the key was taken the orb given the blood offered the game is nearly finished the figure indicates the book while stating there is only one thing left when you put your name in the book the game is over you only need a quick signature to be set free Stacy Leiden please sign and declare the game is over You examine the contents of the pages. On the left is a symbol of crescent moon, of a crescent moon along with a dagger. Other symbols and text in a language you don't comprehend are also present. There is a lengthy list of names on the right page. Each name is written with a unique handwriting. List of commands. Sign. Book. You take the quill and write the name Stacy Leiden on the room. Um, what the hell? That looks like my house. Uh-oh. That's my window! Can I get up? I can't get up anymore! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Can you do... Lead? Nope, we can just type continue. That sounded like it came from the attic. I think that freak's inside. Attic? Aren't we in the attic?
Hello? Uh oh. There's an attic. Why are we going up? Oh boy. That's still that. I was like, what the fuck? Hello? Um, painting? Why are you a television? Um, no, thank you. Uh oh. Oh, come on. What the fuck? This was just open! Help! Hello, hello, I'm friend, I'm friend, I'm friend! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me! How the- I really wonder how they're gonna even extend this beyond this. This seems like, oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? I guess you could escape it again, but like, this seems like the full game. I mean, I guess, uh, except like a proper ending, I don't really see what else they could do. Well, uh, that was a bad ending. I don't think we can do that any better, given that it does say, that it just says like the end of the demo here. So yeah, that is, uh, Suffer the Night, which is a very interesting, it really reminds me of We Never Left. And it also kind of has like, I mean, the masked people always remind me of welcome to the game. And like, g given the fact that you're like working on a computer, it kind of gives me a little bit of welcome to the game vibes, but mostly like we never left style where in that game, what I found really cool about we never left is like, like you, you control a person that's walking around in your own apartment and that's like coming to kill you, which is really cool, which I guess was kind of similar to this. I wonder if this is inspired by that. I think it probably is. So yeah, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed. That was Suffer the Night. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, YouTube.